I, I think we're live. I, we're live. I don't. Now. I don't feel live. I feel like <laughs> we might be live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Forbidden Frontier. Your host, Dirk Roddick, Quarter Black Garrett, and Adam Krigler welcome you to the show. Today we have a wonderful show to, for you all. I hope you enjoy. Let's bring on the host, shall we? Hey. Who was that? I didn't know we had a carnival bar. X-ray girl sounds weird. Yeah, that was that was new. I yeah, that was great. I, wow, very I didn't nice. expect who, that. Who at all. organized that? I don't know. I don't know. That was, that was really great. Oh, that's I way way too organized for us. <laughs> what are we? Some sort of professionals? No. <laughs> I mean, like uh, we started nine minutes late. That's that pretty was good. Not my good. fault. For that's the pretty good, though. I gotta say, that's not I, ten minutes. I'm I just... wanted to start two hours early. <laughs> yeah, and and we might. <laughs> hey, wait. wait. <laughs> we might. I'm I'm okay with that. But I, uh, you know what? I think what we'll we'll do. We'll just work this out live on the air with all you yeah. here. It's okay. right at the beginning There's, of the show. What I think is we'll do is we'll do the show earlier, and then we'll get it on Spotify like immediately. We'll like within mm. an hour have that thing on Spotify, and then whoever wants to listen to it on Spotify is listening to it at night while they're driving around or at home. That's the way. That's the or way in the morning on their drive to work. You know, you do, you. You, you do you. You do you. Yeah. This is no, all no. the way across the world. No way. Worldwide, baby. Worldwide. We're sending it out into space. That's right. We we are sending it out to space, right? Yeah, I've got the space button checked. Oh, thank you. So. Yeah, space button checked. Did you hit right, the, Did you hit that? Yeah. He hit it. Hit the space button. Hit it. Mm-hmm. Hey, welcome, uh, Eric K and Tim F and Poe Jags and Nick Brony and Viewcor Viewcart, uh, Bob A, Letta Rose. Or Leia Rose. Why did I say Letta? Sorry, Leia. Letta Rose. I thought it was a team. Hyperdimensionalist. God, cool is it already I like time that. to get I do a like new that. prescription? Huh? It's been two years. Oh, man, that's bad. Better call Mr. Beast. Oh, what's I'm up, lucky. Big Raj? I've got uh, the same prescription since I was eight. Wow. Your eyes just didn't change at all. Yeah, they're just, they're like, we're bad and we're going to stay bad. But that's it. Hmm. We're not going to get Good any worse. You. I'm okay with you. it right here. I can get LASIK. That's one of the things. It's deteriorating. It's like, what's the point? Yeah. So yeah, you're, I, you're, I can't get screwed. any of that stuff. I am screwed. <laughs> Gonna get new eyeballs. <laughs> uh, yeah, there when, you go. when they'll invent new eyeballs, you know, right after I die. <laughs> like Minority Report. <laughs> uh, so welcome to Forbidden Frontier. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier. You guys chose the name. Power to the people. Power to that the people. That applause is off the chain. Yeah, you well, he applause? continued it. Like it, it was. Dang. It was dual. Applause. I wanted. I wanted. That was like real. Like from all angles, you know. Damn. And I'm sure all of you out there watching right now were clapping, right? Right. They yeah. were looking at while me. you're, you're driving. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. Dana they were clapping. clapping. Yeah. See, they were clapping. There you go. There you go. I have to say. At first, you know, chat, I was I wasn't against it. All right. I want to make that clear. I oh, liked Forbidden we Edge. All right. Well, You're hey, just hey, passionate. Listen, listen. Passionate. I, I was passionate about Forbidden Edge yeah. and or Frontier's Edge. Excuse me. See, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. And I have since thought about it and I'm like, you know what? Man, Forbidden Frontier. It's good. It's good. It's yeah. so good. I, I like it. Chat was right. Yeah. It's yeah. very Star yeah. Trek. And That's it, right, it very much goes into, you know, ancient civilizations. I, I, you know, Garrett and I live in an, an old frontier. Yeah. You live in just a place. It's still a frontier. Old frontier. freaking place. It's still a frontier. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. And, and yeah, it, this, I, I, I love the name. I think it's great. And we're moving Agreed. forward and we're going to try to do a lot of things with this show because this is my retirement show. This is like when I'm when the pop culture war is over. Which is any minute. No, it's not. When but, you hang uh, up your sword for the I final hang up time. My sword. I'm getting old. Going for another you know, tour right now. Got to get a little Padawan, you know, train him up and he'll betray me and then I'll have to kill him. But then I'll get another Padawan and he'll replace me and then I can do this show. Did you get did you there it track is. all that? Yeah, all right. I got it. Good. <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's the plan. I don't know. I like it would be kind of funny a 75 year old me like 
fucking Walt Disney. <laughs> Still, <laughs> I can picture it. I, I, I can picture it. <laughs> Phase 15. MCU. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's the she, she, she. It's completely gone. It's the MC, she, 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 you. Yeah. So, uh, Feige Ancient Guys. Fe Feige. It's Kevin Feige. Feige. I'm glad we got that Kevin in Feige. twice in our video. That was good. Yeah. So today, the subject is uh, mass extinctions. Uh, supposedly, we're in one now. The sixth great mass extinction. Uh, do you feel like you're in a sixth great mass extinction? Maybe they're just really like yeah. even keel about their extinctions. Yeah, I do. You know? No, honestly, I like... do. Something popped in my head when I when I was thinking about it. We're, we're, we're going to talk about the equator thing and how the axis of the Earth could have been changed. And I, I thought that was really interesting. And they, they didn't really go into that more in the direction that I started thinking about. Uh, and it, it relates directly to mass extinction. So I don't know. If, I, I think I'm going to wait a little bit to uh, re really tell you my theory that I, I've well, come up with. But if the poles are shifting. They are. They're headed. Uh, yeah. It's headed towards Russia right it's now. It's like forty miles a year. Now? Yeah, it's, it's a lot. A lot. It's a yeah, lot. And it's it's increasing too. It's not slowing down. Yeah. Right. So and, and we could talk about the the worst case scenarios and then the scenario where we don't even notice it. So, we'll, we'll there, there's all kinds of scenarios. Yeah. Jimmy Corsetti talking about the poles shifting and then shifting back to where we couldn't even six days later. No. We wouldn't even so know if it ever happened. Record of it, yeah, and then we'd just be like, "But boom, boom!" To find the record of it is difficult. You can find it, I guess. In they found it in lava on the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Of course, was was the last record they. But they, there could have been more. We just don't know. And I suspect there was. And hail Jimmy Corsetti, by the way. What's uh, up, Jimmy? What's up, buddy? Uh, it's great of course job he's watching right now. I know you're watching, Jimmy. Yeah, you better be watching. Love your love your stuff. <laughs> jet setting he's going to egypt he's going to cairo or something, or something. Peru. i'm cairo. not jealous not no, jealous I'm not, at all i'm not jealous of, no no <laughs> no way because no. you know we're gonna go there we're yeah. you know yeah. yes we are oh, we'll that's, be there. Yes. that's right that's right uh he did a great job on rogan and uh now we know that randall Carlson carlson has been to joe rogan has done the show so it's going to be out next week oh, talking snaps. about plasmoids more stuff to for talk about boys and what is other it? things. Plasmoid freck, uh, can, freck. What's I the term he, he uses? With, I think he went with it, Cosmic Kurt. Tusk. If he went with Cosmic Tusk, that's the guy who's putting on Refractionation? the Refractionation? No. What? Plasmoid. Keep, keep, it going. keep it going. Confractionation. It's the modulation of the I know the plasmoids in there. <laughs> the fortification. Plasmoid fortification. <laughs> of the fortification. I don't think, I don't think that's it. No, that's I don't think that's it. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Randall that's is a rock star, and I can't wait to that's see. I, 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 dude, Joe Rogan's actually been this, you know, been very good the last couple of weeks. A lot of them, yeah, have been really good. True. So we're going to go over mass extinction. We're going to talk about the equator. We're going to bring up an old video from an old guy who has passed away, Chuck, uh, who I watched all the time from uh, CFAPS. Chuck from CFAPS. He passed away about a year ago of a heart attack. May he rest in peace. We're going to go over one of his old videos about the equator. And the Nazca lines. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. Hope, hope, hope he doesn't get mad. But uh, and then uh, Uncharted X, uh, who was on Joe Rogan as well, talked about that Vaz vase. Vaz. Vaz vase. Vaz. Chat. What is it? Vaz or vase? I'm saying vase. I'm still getting. I think. By that I think after you pay thing. a certain amount, it becomes it's a vase. It becomes a vase. <laughs> yeah. It's a vase if it's like, you know, for the yeah, dollar it's like throw away and put like some flowers yeah. in it. If it breaks yeah. and you're not mad, it's a vase. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it, it's it's one from the old kingdom that they, well, because they didn't make them past the, the what the, it's at the early part of the orchid. They said the fourth dynasty, fourth dynasty. Mm. Uh, and it's crazy. It's utterly crazy, and he did all, so. What he talked about it on Joe Rogan, but then he just released a video on it uh, like three, four days ago. Highly recommend you watch it. This is a show where you will get homework. So at the end of uh, each episode, we'll go like, "This is what you need to watch for next week," uh, and it's for us too. 
Well, it's ideally, fun. we already watched it before we could talk Yeah, we about watch it. it. Then we tell you, and then you yeah. watch it. Right. And then next week, you tell I, us I, about what you thought about. Okay, the key word there is ideally. All right. Sometimes right, we just right, might right, watch right. it on ideally. the show. It's a lot of ideally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, ben from our Uncharted X is great as well. They both did a very good job on Joe yeah. Rogan, but that was killer. Uh, my wife says homework sucks. Well, you never did homework in your life, Melissa. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in in when we were in our the, supposedly in high school, she did a lot for other for her for all the supposedly other. in high school. Yeah, supposedly in high school, you're ditching high school. All right, uh, let's go. Let's start with um, the old article from from National Geographic that George Howard shared earlier today on Twitter. Just oldie buddy goodie, but I'm like, this is a good good primer for the ancient extinction theory. This has been around for for a minute, but I think it's just it's starting to finally, I don't know, catch on. Maybe it's the the situation where a lot of the academics that are holding all these things back are starting to you know fall off and retire or whatever, and more people are kind of going, maybe maybe we should look into this. Maybe we should find the answers of why so many mammoths are found in Alaska and one like five square mile radius. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah, we should probably look into that. I think it's extremely weird. And the the five first mile re- radius, it's like the first like reaction 000. of any. God. Any academic is ugh, pseudoscience. Yeah, the fact that they're finding like all the meat on their bones too. Insane. It's like, okay, so what? These hunter gatherers that have been hunter gathering for thousands of years suddenly decided to just kill all of them, all of them, literally all, and not yeah. even hunter gather them. Like, okay, what what's the logic there? They, did they lead them into this spot and then kill them? Or did they kill them somewhere else and then drag them to this spot? Why are they all here? Right. Very weird. And then, like, t- I think he said that he didn't, he hasn't had a full count, but somebody he had come survey the area, there's like 10,000 mammoths there. That's In a five-mile radius. And there's another site right down the creek. Yeah. Another site. And what that's the not hell counting happened? the ones... The, the tens of thousands frozen in the permafrost of Siberia yep, in right. the general area. So um, the mammoths, I'm going to get my math wrong. So I'm just vaguely remembering this from what Randall Carlson said. Uh, outnumbered humans 100 to 1. Wow. Somewhere around there. That's a lot of mammoths. It was a lot of mammoths. So the hunter-gatherers who were completely in sync with nature on the previous continent where they didn't hunt everything into extinction mm-hmm. decided to come over here and just hunt everything to extinction. Right. Um, and 500, 500 years ago, there was only 300 million people on the planet. So you think about that was 500 years ago. Now, how many were yeah. here 12,000 years ago? Uh, I, post, you know, Post a cataclysm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, during. Mm. Yeah. It just seems a little unlikely. Well, you know what there isn't is any Clovis people that we yeah, know. Um, it's odd. Odd. What what's up with that? The great uh WG has informed he, he's got some peeps who know Randall, right? So <gasps> I guess oh. he told me Go on. That uh they do know they think they know, or they do know if he's here, he'll he'll correct me in the chat, believe me, uh, where some Clovis people are, but they cannot dig them up because of the current rules. <sighs> But they, you know, maybe some once ground penetrating radar and LADAR get more advanced, I don't think they'll need to at some point. You'll be able to get way more detail. Hmm. But uh, that is what's so they think, but they haven't yet pulled out a bone or anything. All we know is the 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 flint arrows that were very unique that they made that were found all over, all over North America and South America, too. But not a single bone hard to find those people as we said last episode you have to die the right way you gotta die in some mud or in a swamp or you know get flash frozen uh none of them sound fun by the way i I, no uh yeah agreed i want you know sleep in in my bed (laughs) wine in your belly uh I mean, you know what? If I know i'm dying i'll drink a glass of wine screw it maybe do some heroin maybe some acid right at the end (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, if I'm 98 and I know I'm I'm done, I'll, I'll try heroin for yeah. the first time. I'm I'm kidding, Melissa. Okay, well about the heroin. 
I might do some acid and drink some wine if I know I'm croaking. <laughs> You're like, look, it's the end of the end of the century, okay? We're partying. Century. For the record, I was just uh, quoting Tyrion. You were. Okay. Uh, you were, and and that's 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 a good way to go. Uh, so the iconic Mashugana. Ma Mash I'm sorry. What? Mashugana. Matt. I want. I wanted to say Mashugana, but that's not what it says. It says. <laughs> Mana, mana, mash the mashugana. iconic mashugana, <laughs> the iconic mashugana. <laughs> what does that look how, like? You know, I've heard him say this name, and I, I, I can't remember it. So I'm just gonna call it the I mashugana. I don't give a shit. Man mana Kaugan? Kaugan? Mana Kaugan, Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Meteor it's crater. Not, it's not man mashugana. <laughs> and Quebec. Uh, <laughs> is pictured in the handout photo taken March 14, 2013. The crater is one of the oldest known impact craters on Earth. Still visible from space. You can see it. It's kind of big. Uh, this is prior to them finding the meteor crater in Greenland, by the way. So mm. this article is. Uh, did planetary upheaval 12,900, it's now 12,800 years ago, uh, come from the heavens or Earth? Uh, did a comet really kill the mammoths 2000 or uh, so this is 12,900 years ago this is national geographic so we'll see what uh, they have to say but uh why did mammoths mastodons and other mega beasts vanish from north america how what how big of a number was it garrett 150 100 to 150 species disappeared forever right around the same time gone everything over 100 pounds uh which was considered megafauna uh, cer certain things, you know, survived like crocs and stuff, but they're fucking dirty lizards. I want to real so. quick show everybody. I mean, it makes sense. What it looks like. Wow, that's a mashugana. That is a mashugana. It's an iconic mashugana. Get it iconic right. Iconic mashugana. All Look right. At that thing. That's freaking cool looking. Now back up a little bit. Go to the. Oh wow, it's huge. It's freaking huge. That's pretty big, dude. Look at that. That would have been dead center of the Massive. North American ice yeah. sheet. There's or a little right there. little to the east. But it's it still... might be, I don't know if it's old. Oh no, wait. It's the earth is spun. Yes. Are, are are we I'm it's all spun so I'm uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Reorient. Thank you. Now Re go. Reorienting. Oh, it's really Greenland. Old. Go to Greenland. It's like, no, you get to look at the Pacific. It's really big. Okay, up. Look at that thing. It's freaking huge. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Now go up. Up, 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 up. Stop. This is the part of the show. This is my favorite. Top part. left corner. Top left corner where it's, uh, see the curvature? Yeah, right, right in no, there. No, up, up, up. More, more. Ooh. Right there. No, no. We're right close. Here? No, it's, you're getting. No, getting Greenland. Not, that's Green. Canada on the left. To the right. right here. All right, see that little nub oh, right yeah. there. You're on it. Right there. No, All right, now zoom to the left. Little right there. Right there. That right here. That is right that here. is an, an the other one. That's part of one. Yeah. Now zoom in. That's the one they think is is the smoking gun. I wouldn't be surprised if there was multiples. Like if yeah, it broke I think up. that's what we've been if talking about. It was about. so big and broke up in the atmosphere and then like hit in multiple locations. Well, if it's in that torrid media stream, there could be multiple True. asteroids just like bam, 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 like a big shotgun. Yeah. Just pummeling the Earth. Well, and and, and an that asteroid makes sense. That I mean, it's not can... too far away from each other. And I think that's kind of what they're going with, that, that there was multiple strikes. But it could also, it's going to cause other things that they've talked about, too. So it's not just the multiple strikes. It's the ejecta. So if it's a big enough one, it will shoot up a bunch of Earth. The Earth will be in the atmosphere and it will come back down as little meteors, hmm. you know, and all on fire. And just So what doesn't like kill you right away will start a fire. And Randall did a whole series. This one was pretty freaky. If it's true on the great Chicago fire, the, I forgot the name of it. There was a, there was a fire that wiped out an entire town in Wisconsin uh there was he even went to the to the fire uh melissa remember the fire she's in the chat that happened in santa clara 2017 
burned down the whole, was it Clara? It, it was up north by San Rafael, north of San Rafael. And it burned the whole fucking town. And it, it, it like these massive fires that just like get out of control quick, quick. Now, part of that might have been our governor. Antifa. <coughs> Oh, our, our sorry. Governor Gavin Newsom, not not uh, as Trump said, cleaning the forest, which he was right. You have to, you have to, you have to maintain burns. the forest. Uh, Men Mendocino, yeah, that was gnarly. Uh, remember that school we were going to take? We were going to take Logan to the school that was up in that area, and uh, the school burned down, so we couldn't take from that school. Well, <laughs> Yes, that made a choice. Uh, for it you. was bad. It was it was gnarly. It was really gnarly that fire. But they talked about the Chicago fire, which was not started by a cow, and they went like how hot it got. So um, entire iron, like these giant iron like boilers, were liquefied. But right next to like somebody who survived, like a survivor, a human being, did not burn to death, and they were within. 10 yards of something that was liquefied all i can think about what? is yeah the, the um, iron that was like liqu liquefied cynics that are like oh well what why aren't we finding anything what well, where's all the pot where's all the stuff huh where's all the technology and i'm like it, it melted or people it melted blown it down away and, right this is twelve thousand years ago twelve thousand years anyway so anybody, any of those Randall fans out there who who saw uh, his, I think it's like three or four podcasts about the, it's, ba it's based on his, he did a special for TBS back in the late 90s, early 2000s called Fire from the Sky. And it, it basically covers that. And it kind of gives you, his, his hypothesis was, sure, these were fires, but what started them? that did was it something cosmic that started him was it just a fragment of a meteor uh because he talked about the heat being so intense massive winds and it started from nothing like one minute you're fine the next minute you're it, it's not just a fire slowly approaching it's you are in a like, fire storm a fire tornado oh man yeah it, it's it is insane um so he just goes over it and talks about just how crazy, like how, uh, you know, the uh, a town's worth of people had to jump into a, a river. And people were just vaporized on the spot. It was, it's insane. It's really insane. But he, he doesn't get into like, he doesn't say that, oh, it was a comet. He's just, he just points mm -hmm. out the facts. And, but on, on the one in Northern California that I was talking about, they, they did see meteors falling from the sky that night. They're, they're well, caught on video so it's, it's it, yeah it, i was just gonna say it's interesting that a, a lot of scientists out there look at randall carlson and go oh pseudoscience he's crazy graham hancock they don't know what they're talking about but if you look into chuck slub which is the asteroid that hit and you know wiped out the dinosaurs it's it's accepted in the scientific community that when it hit um water rushed in and turned into steam and whatever and went into the atmosphere and basically turned the sky to fire and they they've found ash an ash layer every on right. every single uh t place they've ever dug in uh, anywhere on the earth if you dig down 65,000 or a million years ago whatever um they find that same ash layer so it's like it's from that hit went everywhere on the entire planet and it's like a, a few year period of where ash was falling and it's like it kind of they were like, well, it seems like the sky was fire. And it's like, all right, so you accept that it happened one time. And that's why all the megafauna of that or the dinosaur uh, were all were wiped out. So why isn't it not feasible that this yeah. could happen 12,000 years ago um, when on, on just a slightly it, smaller scale? Yeah, that, uh, that's yeah, exactly. My, a slightly smaller scale. That's what makes my uh, my red flags come up whenever I'm like, wait, you you accept that it is possible. But mm -hmm. not in this scenario. Why? Why is it? You, why is it so ridiculous to think possibly it happened again? Oh no! It can only happen once. Right, and if it, it melted, ridiculous. if it melted the ice sheets of North America and rose the ocean sea level four hundred feet, then that all that water, the floods that were happening everywhere. Wouldn't that have washed away all the ash that was falling anyway? So it's not like it would have just and like there's, there's layers yeah. of it. They're finding layers. And we'll, they're we'll finding it in pictures. certain areas too. Yeah, there, I think we did. I, th 
I think we talked about this already. There's there's where... one right near Winslow, Arizona. Shit. We right. can maybe go, yeah. go buy there someday. Yeah. Cool. We should. Yeah. There's yeah. there's some here in Texas. There's uh it, it's all over. There it's in Syria. It's in Italy. They found it everywhere. Uh and, and they're saying it's almost as significant as the Chicxulub was. Almost, mm-hmm. which is wow. insane, which is absolutely insane. I mean, things survived Chicxulub. So yep obviously because we're here but uh all all the big stuff died all the big stuff died just on this hemisphere uh so it it had to be that's pretty weird it can't be just one one thing well dude if you've ever watched videos of the chicksaloo meteor and what happened yeah it makes you make your butt pucker up a little bit so (laughs) it's true it, it it landed in the ocean and it created it shot all the water up in the air right so for a minute not not even a minute it was like hours there was this giant hole in the water <laughs> yeah ground but the ground was liquefied it was so the ground was liquefied yep. and there's thousand foot waves going every direction so it just fucked everything up immediately that's before all the rocks started raining down and then all that water that went in the atmosphere you're talking about so everything's on fire and then the atmosphere is just completely covered, so there's a huge greenhouse effect, and then the sun is reflected, and it, everybody's just dead. Everything is just dead. Everything big is just dead over a course of a, a day, a couple of days. Yeah. That doesn't get vaporized. In, oh, and the other thing was the uh, blast wave, just the air blast wave. Randall talked about how it, you know, it's circumvented the planet multiple times, and if it met where it meets... So it goes mm. two ways. It goes boom. <laughs> it just hit. So it like Damn. it'll vaporize things on the other side. It's crazy. Yeah. Enjoy life. Nature. <laughs> yeah. Nature. Well, you well, you still can. Well, right? you still can. I read that part of uh of America before where the guy talks about how the he hypothesized that if there was a um Tunguska type of air explosion right above that dead mammoth mm-hmm. they found. And how it froze to death and burned to death all within a nanosecond of each other. Wow. Check this Fun. out. That's the yeah. fireball. Just the fireball. Yep. Oof. Oof. Man. What's uh, up with North America getting hit? Yeah, what is like, what is up with that? It's a target. It's a well, hot I would kind of chances. explain why we kind of forgot about that area. We're just like, hey, let's just not go there anymore, and let's never talk about it ever I think again. people, yeah, it's like... <laughs> like, it's dude, not a good place. It's not a good place. All right. That's safe. And the, the Clovis people were like, we're going to show you. We're yeah. going to prove you guys wrong. <laughs> Where are they at, by the way? <laughs> Can't find them. <laughs> Can't find them. <laughs> they gone. They gone. All right. Let's see what this has to say. Uh, why did mammoths, mastodons, and other mega beasts vanish from North America? Was it humans killed them? No. Uh, number one. Number two, they couldn't hack the climate after the Ice Age ended. No. No. You mean the nice warm climate where things would grow better, more? Yeah. Uh, there would be more food? I don't know. An exploding comet ignited uh, continent-wide, continent-wide wildfires sent 100-mile-an-hour winds and tornadoes howling across the land and shattered the North American ice sheet while also maybe <laughs> gouging out the Great Lakes. <laughs> uh, maybe that one. I think it might be that one. Mm, Let's I talk mean... about option three. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, the, um, Randall doesn't even get into the, the high winds and the tornadoes. That, that would suck. Uh, The idea that a comet struck Earth 12,900 years ago at the beginning of the strange interlude of climate cooling called the Younger Dryas was first proposed in 2007 in the bitter scientific debate that has flared uh, sporadically ever since. The latest evidence includes tiny, glassy, spherical, uh, spherules. I can can kind of read. I'm not going to say I can read definitively. I know I can do it. Uh, Of rock found in Pennsylvania, uh, flower bed by a woman who had seen a Nova program. Oh, bless her heart about the comet hypothesis in a paper that got wide uh, coverage last week. Dartmouth researchers argue that those spherules were hurled to the Pennsylvania by an impact in Quebec 12,900 years ago. 
Mm. And that's what we saw earlier. Traces of platinum deposit on the Greenland ice cap at about the same time Harvard researchers argue that the platinum probably came from the extraterrestrial object. Not a comment, however, but a rare type of iron-rich meteorite, okay, uh, spherules in Syria. In the latest paper, some of the original proponents of the impact hypothesis, hypothesis now say it uh, is deposited 10 it deposited 10 million metric tons of spherules over an area of 20 million square miles, stretching from Syria through Europe to the west coast of North America. That that's a lot of that's a lot of play, a lot of space. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of space. And you know what is behind a lot? I mean, there's there's ego that's behind a lot of the the lack of debate. Why people will just refuse to debate this. There's also massive politics, all right? Climate change politics. Uh, even, even dare I say, identity politics oh, uh, as far as indigenous people. And yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, institutions now that don't want to be subverted or disrupted. I guess that's the word we want to use. Uh, some opponents of the hypothesis, and there are many, want so bad. Uh, badly for it to go away that they have attempted to declare it dead. My only comment on the pro-impact literature is, at this point, fringe science being promoted by a single journal. One of them, Nicholas P Pinter, uh, Pecker, I'm going to call him, of <laughs> Southern Illinois <laughs> University, said last week, the journal in request is, uh, is Proceedings of National Academy, oh, said this last week in the journal, in question is the proceedings of the National Academy of Science. Interestingly uh, enough, I, I heard that Nicholas identifies as Trans Clovis. Oh, oh, yeah, good for him. Good for him. Thank you, thank you for that, Gary. You're, hey, dude, I'm I'm trying to help. Was it worth it? Was it? it, did it, <laughs> was it did worth I truly? It? <laughs> okay. Hey, look, I was looking at electric bikes. <laughs> Clearly, you oh were. yeah, I want an electric bike. It'd yeah. be fun. I I, I wouldn't. I don't like this one. It's a little girly looking, but I, I was looking. I was also looking for microphone stands because I got a new table and this this one doesn't work. That's why I'm. Someone doesn't use Brave. It's all under. Someone doesn't use. Bra I know. I know. I'm such a boomer. I use. Not hip, then. No. Letting the freaking CIA watch all your search issues. Good. Okay? Good. They're gonna. They're gonna they're come so get you. They're so fucking incompetent. They wouldn't even find my house. Those fucking morons. <laughs> Ten years before they even get to you. Probably shouldn't cuss on this show. Open a hammer. <laughs> Put the hammer down. Did you see that video I sent? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I, I watched the TikTok of the ghost? guy going like, "Here's why they called the exorcist." Who Who's opened the, the door, man? man? Who opened the door, man? He had the drink, holding the hammer. All right, the other hands behind, behind his back. Who opened the damn door? I mean, it there, really doesn't. What's make in that any window? Sense. You could see in the window. You could see there's either a reflection of the there's cop something. or there's somebody behind uh, the shutters in that window. Well, and the about. door, the door opens. And then keeps opening and keeps opening yeah, and then yeah, and then yeah, keeps opening weird. and it's like, what? I got Dude, questions. They called oh, I'm an saying, exorcist. I got questions. They called an exorcist. It was clearly a demon. <laughs> wait, it was that was wait. Hold on, <laughs> that was that was a real story. That was a real story. The problem is wait, nobody's Nancy nobody's Pelosi. wait wait wait, <laughs> wait nobody's seen Nancy Pelosi <laughs> since the exorcism. I just want to point that out. Nobody's seen her anywhere <laughs> since the. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't oh, know that no. was real. <laughs> <laughs> that was real yeah <laughs> oh that's oh my god that's funny i thought it was a joke why I, would she bring one into the house satire there's too much even satire joke, out there right funny. now yeah I, dude i don't even know i just roll with stuff now you know i just like yeah you know oh wow that's funny when too somebody much, was trying to say much. that obese was the new n-word i'm like sure i I believe somebody said that i <laughs> sure. it was a joke but like i mean her name was anita b eaton that one so. was that, one <laughs> that was, was pretty yeah. funny <laughs> i mean it's kind of a i dead just giveaway. said that tweet made her look obese that's all i said true uh <laughs> other researchers are trying to keep an open mind uh, most people were trying to disapprove this, says Wallace. And, and you know what? Bless those researchers keeping an open mind. That's what you're that's what you're supposed to do as a scientist. That's the science. Yeah. Curb the F words. for Well, the you're kids supposed out there. to you're supposed to try and disprove a theory. Right. But then whenever you come up to the wall of, well, we can't figure out why it's not real. 
then you just go, oh, I just never want to hear about it ever again. Right. No, it, it's pseudoscience. Yeah. That's the difference between actual science and the narrative. Yeah, they're rolling out an yeah. autistic teenager for climate change. You know, nothing wrong with autism. Just something wrong with that teenager. Just something wrong yeah. with that one. Is she even a teenager anymore? No, no. She's she, an adult. She's she was groomed. She was groomed for that. Oh position. hell yeah. Yeah, it's it's hundred percent sick. Hey, I could try to censor my F words. I can <laughs> you Oh, oh my gosh. I could oh oh my gosh. Seriously, Gary, can you shut the up, please? Uh, wow. I will You're what? good at that. Hey, what? what? All right. Want to, okay. He that was how that was, did you I mean I wasn't even That wasn't you? That was incredible, mm, Gary. Yeah, that was so good. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you dumb mother. <laughs> <laughs> I have one, but it sounds weird. Oh, there we go. That sounds like mine. Oh, yeah, what? yours is No. Stop. Okay, stop. Gary, your it, yours is is chill. That's Garrett, what I told yours you. Yours is obnoxious. Okay, there's Why a is thing it like that? A volume. Uh, it's yeah. way low. You can turn Garrett, the Yours it's is way obnoxious. Low. Dude, that one's chill. Here, I'll go I'll go way at the bottom. How's oh that? my god, no. It's Dude, oh it's god. at the bottom. Piercing. Did All you right, did you're you cut off. the soundboard yet, Garrett? That's the soundboard. That's the you're soundboard. cut off, that Garrett. Is it. That's oh, the soundboard. You know what it is? You set the right setting to the right mic. What? That's what did you it. just say? Okay, well, I'll talk to you after the show. I'm so, so confused. Okay, um, you're in channel, say you're in channel one. <laughs> it's, like, it's my okay. continued I, I, audio curse that just follows me everywhere sorry, I go. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I have to give him some training during the show. All right, wow. so say it's plugged into channel one. You got to hit the settings for channel one, yeah. and you got to program it to like cardio, mi cardio mic or yeah, yeah, electro yeah. voice uh, or, uh, or condenser sure. mic. Condenser mic. Mike, it makes a massive difference. Hey. Hey. All right. What was that? Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Where's Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> <laughs> She's sucking my dick. <laughs> what is going on in this house? <laughs> The exorcism didn't work. <laughs> That's why Nancy's that gone, though. That's why Na maybe it did work. Nancy just disappeared. She just poofed. I got some <laughs> great stock tips. <laughs> <laughs> Most people are trying to disprove this. Said Wallace broke <laughs> a geo what chemist. Geochemist. Geochemist. Uh, I almost okay. said. I don't want to tell you what I almost said. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to know. No. Uh, no. 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 <laughs> I'll tell you later. Well, so type it in private <laughs> chat right now. It almost right now. came out Ty of my mouth. Type it in private chat right now. Game I gotta words. know. <laughs> type Game. it in right now. Game. I gotta know. Uh. <laughs> I almost said. I was said geocockmist. I don't know why. That's not even a word. It's just right off the top of your head. Well, I, dude, I've been kicked out of three high schools, man. All right. All right. Fair enough. Geochemist. See? Geochemist. <laughs> Chemist. Oh, my God. You know Geo what? Geochemist. This is what you happens to, when you stream you, with Scott it, take, from Sporking. Like, you want me like to take this one over? Drain, like, no. No, I am going to get through this now. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to treat Earn you like it. a child. I'm going to earn this it. shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, a Scott from Sporking last night couldn't couldn't say stewardess. He kept on saying st like it like steward stewardess. He kept on saying it like uterus, <laughs> st uterus. <laughs> 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 and he would say Vietnamese, but he'd mix up the M and the N. It'd be Vietnam Vietnamese Vietnamese Vietnamese. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like what I think it's contagious. Damn telling it. a girl to do. Yeah, it's gonna be another year. Be on these. Be on these. Uh, and climate scientist at Columbia. <laughs> I'm gonna start over. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Most people were trying to disprove this. Said Wallace Broker, a G uh, geochemist, chemist, and climate scientist at Columbia University, Lamont Doherty. Earth Observatory. Now they're going to have to realize there's some truth to it, though maybe only a, a spheral or a spheral or two, uh, or ten million pounds. What they say? They said ten million pounds, right? Let me go back up there. 
How many pounds per gallon? 10 million metric tons. Wow. Metric tons. Spread That's over 20 pounds. million square miles. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. That is a lot. Who cares about the Younger Dryas? Why should we care? It happened 12,900 years ago. History. We don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, it's history, not history. Okay. Uh, even if you're inclined to let sleeping mammoths lie. Oh, stop it. Uh, wow. The debate Good. matters. Oh. It bears clever on the question no. of just how fragile Earth's climate is. Does it need an extraterrestrial whack? To go haywire, or can it do that on its own? Uh, the alleged mammoth killing impact is also alleged to have triggered the Younger Dryas at the time, 12,900 years ago, which is now 12,800 years ago, or 860. They got it down to, like, decades now. Uh, the continental ice sheets were in full retreat from the last ice, ice age, and the planet was nearly warm as it is now, suddenly, in a matter of decades. No, it was actually a lot sooner than that. Uh, glacial temperatures returned and the ice advanced again. The cold lasted 1,500 years, then ended even more suddenly than it began. In the 1980s, Broker uh, helped bring the Younger Dryas to wide attention. It's only been to wide attention since the 1980s, guys. That's a little crazy. We're the smartest we've ever been, Gary. The, the I peak know. of our civilization. I know, just we, listen to me. We read. know everything. <laughs> he explained the sudden cold snap with a mechanism that's internal to climate system. I, if the Earth can, if the Earth just on its own can melt two mile thick ice just whenever, then I mean we're screwed. <laughs> we're absolutely screwed. Yeah, we are absolutely screwed. Now, yeah. Uh, at the start of the Younger Dryas, he said, uh, the conveyor belt of ocean currents that normally transported heat to the North Atlantic, the Gulf Stream is part of it, had gotten jammed by fresh meltwater flowing off the receding ice sheets. With no heat flowing north of the ocean, the North Atlantic region relapsed into bitter cold. The Younger Dry... Uh, what? So one current on one side. What about all the other ice? What about all where the did the, Where ice? did that go? Yeah. Uh, th that's fine for the East Coast and, you know, up in in uh, Northern Europe. But what about Canada? What about Montana? Northern Montana? Northern Washington? The Younger Dryas became the paradigm for the idea that Earth's climate was an uh, inter... I don't know how uh, dimensional inter pot belly goblins. <laughs> pot belly goblins. Intrinsically. 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 God damn it. I know that word. How am I not reading it? Man. Uh, can't, Melissa, can't might, Melissa might be getting my drool cup soon. Uh flighty <laughs> creature capable of shifting abruptly to a radically different state. That idea has made the prospect of future climate change even more worrisome. Uh, conceivably, a comet might have triggered the Younger Dryas by helping break up the ice sheet and sent meltwater into the North Atlantic. It would have had a uh, have to have been a big comet, but about a million times the energy of the bolide that excavated Meteor Crater in Arizona, which is three quarters of a mile wide. And that happened 50,000 years ago, by the way. Have you ever been there, guys? Mm -mm, I haven't. You haven't been to I Meteor heard about crater? it. Though. Nope. Really fucking cool. Really cool. It's big. Uh, though proponents of the Younger Dryas impact say the comet may have explore, exploded in air, uh, leading to multiple impacts, no crater has yet been found, except it has. Uh, searching for meteorite metals, uh, Makul Sharma of Dartmouth and the college, uh, his colleagues now suggest at least one impact happened somewhere in Quebec, they say that conclusion on a very intricate analysis of some dirt from Yvonne Malinowski's backyard in Melrose, Pennsylvania. So some woman was just gardening and she's like, wow, I was watching Nova and these look like these things on What's Nova. This? Just planting some rhododendrons and I found this yeah, freaking meteor. What the, heck right? is this? what the hell? I'm going to take this to the antiques roadshow. 
<laughs> yeah, get this appraised. A proponent of the impact hypothesis, a geological consul, uh, consultant named Alan West, yes, who has been mentioned uh, a lot by Graham Hancock, uh, sent uh, Sharma sediment samples, or shawarma, if you want to prefer it that way, uh, from half a dozen sites that he thought recorded evidence of Younger Dryas impact, including Melrose, Sharma's graduate student, uh, Mr. Wu, <laughs> I'm just going to say that, analyze the sediment for uh, os osmium, a metal that is rare in Earth's crust, but much more abundant in meteorites like iridium. Uh, another member of the platinum group, osmium, is considered a reliable signature of an extraterrestrial impact, the asteroid impact that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago at the end of the Cretaceous period was ultimately traced to a large crater off the Yucatan Peninsula. But it was discovered first from an iridium-rich fallout layer that's clearly detectable all over the world that Garrett was talking about earlier. Uh, secrets of the Actually, sphere. that was... Uh, <coughs> that oh, was yeah. oh, my God. You, okay. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, thank you, Garrett. I'll still take it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sharma had no such luck with the younger driest samples. In the sediment, there is no meteorite-derived osmium to be found anywhere, he said. That was remarkable. He and Wu didn't give up, however. Maybe the amount of osmium in the meteorite was just too small to detect in bulk sediment, uh, and, and they reasoned. They decided to look next at individual spherules found in the Melrose dirt. Spherules uh, are tiny glass beads ranging in size from micro microscopic to a quarter of an inch or so. The form when they form when rock and soil is somehow melted and then quickly cooled. Uh, meteorite impacts can form spherules, uh, but so do volcanoes, lightning, and blast furnaces. Uh, distinguishing impact spherules from other kinds isn't e distinguishing impact spherules from other kinds isn't easy, but it's possible because there's other things. And Randall has like like it's really gone forward since 2013 folks they've found a lot of this other stuff now there is debate between robert shock i mean besides the the people who just deny this theory outright and just say everything happened over millions of years including the the flooding uh the flooding uh of the scab lands as it stands right now it's still believed that ice dams formed for Lake Missoula, which was a lake at the, at the edge of the the ice sheets, and an ice dam would oh, shit. G I just killed Gina. I'm sorry. No, you know she, she was she was wanting to jump off since the beginning. Of the show. Been, she, yeah, I know she tried to jump off earlier. Um, I guess it's the rumors of her being recast, which is I can't. Oh no, is that Gina, no, going on again. Don't do yeah, that. yeah. Wait, it's just a rumor. Are they? Right now. Oh, okay, it's just a rumor. I, mean, I was just, just saying, is there? like gravity to it or i don't think so i i find it interesting though that in the sediment they're not finding any of this but they're finding larger uh in lar finding it in larger pieces so that would again kind of lean towards a big huge flood of water would take all the sediment with it out into the oceans so it wouldn't be in the sediment I'm just just make an observation because they said yeah. they didn't find anything in the sediment they're like why well, I wonder why. And I was like, I, I mean, I'm not a professional in any sense. And I, I can I can gather as to why the massive amounts of water took the sediment out with it. These are those spherules. There you cool. go. Be cool. To so, find yeah, the, the, the graph I was showing you earlier, that's the graph that they were talking about in the article of all the, the locations. They found miles. these. Yeah. Where yeah. they found these spherules epic there's so many mind-blowing things that happen in nature it's it's insane like the way that you can track events across time geologically like this like you can like we found out a way to to study rocks to a to a certain extent that we can find out where they came from how they got there it's so cool so cool yeah i agree geology is awesome uh, while we're waiting for Gary, I don't know what he's up to, but you want to see the greatest Nerf gun ever made? Yes, sure. That is I it, that that I Mark fact, Rober got myself. 
I have I have gotten this. I don't actually have it physically because they didn't ship overseas. Um, but I got this for myself. This is a rocket launcher. What? <laughs> based based on Destiny's Yallerhorn rocket. Oh, that's awesome. The, the arguably the best exotic in the game. One of the most famous uh, weapons in gaming history. I now own. It is life size. It shoots Nerf wow. rockets, and uh, I'm very hyped. So wait, about it's it. it's Nerf branded, so it's official Nerf. It's official Nerf. Wow. Slash Destiny Two. They made a rocket wow. launcher. I don't know. I'm just saying. Destiny Two are going to get wrecked. I can't Destiny wait. My kids. It's a video game. You don't. You don't need to know it. it. Yeah, it's and more than that. That's all right. I just uh, yeah, don't know what we're waiting for, but. I was like, hey, let me show off my new rocket launcher. I can't actually show it because it's in Arizona right now. But uh, next time I go, I'm gonna bring it back. How home. much was that? Like 500 bucks? Oh my gosh! Not even 100, 160. That's it. It's pretty cheap. I expect that thing I to think. be expensive. Like it's a Nerf it's gonna gun. Be 300 to ship guns. it to them. But well, th- I'm gonna just check it next time. It'll be 50 bucks. Oh, check yeah. the big box that it's in. I can't Check, wait oh. until my future kids start playing with Nerf guns. Boom. I'm, I'm going to hide it. Exactly. I'm going to hide it. They're not going to know it They don't exists. even know about it. They're going to be like they're eight not, years they're old. They're not going to know. Yeah, they're going to start playing with Nerf. You're like, I'm, a, I'm just going to be like, time to <laughs> time to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Look oh, I, yeah, I would just. They don't add them. It's time be to like die. up in the balcony and they're walking. <laughs> my office is on the second floor and I have a doorway. You can't see this, but there's a patio with no no fence. So I could just go out there and just shoot rockets down on them. It's, it's going to happen. Oh, my God. Best believe it. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? What's what? Happening? My wife is like ratting me out on the show. Dude. Were you? <laughs> yeah. Is that wow. what you're doing? Yeah. No, I no. I was I was eating you were beef getting, jerky. You were eating cookies. I was eating beef jerky. You're supposed to be hosting the show. Gary. Dude, I need I need a little snack to keep the blood sugar. Well, put going. the article up. I can read it. Jeez. You were you were having you a tough enough time, and he won't yeah, be here to hear it. I, 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 I mean, munching on to eat it. I was fine. I just didn't want you. Don't, I don't want to hear like lip smack. In, in the freaking, I, in the I appreciate that because that's disgusting, Garrett. It's disgusting. Please. Yeah, I got please. this little oh, mute hey, button. You know, a certain percentage of the audience though love it. No, no one loves that. No, Garrett, please stop. Only Maybe fans in the in link the description. In, yeah, I was gonna say. No, <laughs> stop, please. Stop. It is seriously. No, I got this disgusting. little mute button right here on my soundboard. Can you mute Garrett with it? What? Um, you yeah, you I can, can mute it too. Here, like this. Watch. Yeah, but I'd have to still hear you. <laughs> like you, you can mute me all day. I don't want to hit, listen to the I inside. I can unmute of your mouth. myself. I could. <laughs> I can mute Ta- you back. I, I want some of these mute. damn powers. You can't have any of these powers. Can't have them. Before you, we go in live, Adam, they, they're all arguing. Yet. Who should? Who should? Should we go live? You want to hit the button? Oh, I'll hit the button. You want to hit the button? And I'm over here like I can't hit the button. I can't hit any all right? buttons. I, I'm I'm loving Fine. having this much control over Adam. It's I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take full advantage of this power. <laughs> I'm gonna take full advantage. Misogyny. <laughs> Misogyny. <laughs> That's patriarchy. The patriarchy Wait, strikes so again. Oh, all right. Work to the article. For Shut up, Garrett. Sakes. Don't dwell on this. The science is settled. <laughs> Don't think about it too much. The science is settled, Garrett. <laughs> I was doing, well, I was doing my super chat square, square up. And, and we're back. And we're back. I was doing my super chat square up. I didn't want to lose it. Uh, <laughs> clear my desktop here while I'm on the show. Clear, oh, no, yeah, clear. Uh, empty, empty my trash. trash <laughs> oh, clear crap, browsing history. Really <laughs> uh, the shape of the Melrose spherules. Uh, some were sort of like teardrops. Uh, yeah, fiery teardrops of death uh, <laughs> showed that they yeah, cooled and solidified as they flew uh, through the air. Sharma said distinctive minerals, including flex of pure iron, showed that they formed at temperatures greater than 2000 degrees Celsius. Wow. Uh, <coughs> that's around 3600 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. That that's hot. Very hot. That's very hot, by the way. Uh, <laughs> that's hot. Yeah, hot. If you don't know, that, that, that is hot. incredibly hot. That is hot. Very hot. That's uh, almost as hot as it was in Texas last summer. God damn. <laughs> uh, comparable mm. to the hottest part of, of a blast furnace. Uh, there have never been any blast furnaces near Melrose 
So the uh, so that convinced us that they formed from a meteorite impact, Sharma said. When the researchers analyzed individual spherules, however, they once again couldn't find the osmium from a meteorite. But they did find in the ratios of osmium and uh, neodymium. Oh, God, help me. Neodymium. Me neodymium. Thank you. Isotopes. I can say isotopes. Uh, a chemical sig there's a comic shop in San Francisco called Isotope. So you uh, got to connect it. There you go. A chemical signature resembling that of 1.5 billion year old rocks from Quebec. So it's not a meteor that deposited them. They came from Qu Quebec. They came from Quebec uh, after the meteor hit Quebec and then deposited the old rocks that were there somewhere else. There was a bunch uh, of ice there. Then it all. Yeah, see, it's all coming that back. led them to conclude that the fireball from meteorite impact in Quebec had dropped tiny bits of glass on Melrose. Not to be confused with the street in Los Angeles. Other scientists question that conclusion. Bill Glass of the University of Delaware, who has uh, authored a tree, a tree. Oh, my God. This is what happens when I read national Fucking geographic. <laughs> a treatise? Is it not treatise? On impact a spherules. A treatise? Tre a treatise. Like gotta... like, so treatise? Raise your pinky for some reason. A treatise? Uh, mm -hmm. And a they treatise. tend to almost perfectly spherical or teardrop shaped, whereas the Melrose ones are more irregular. I don't believe the Melrose spherules are impact spherules, he wrote in the email. My guess is they are some kind of contamination. Or they were carried by water. Maybe. Ca carried by water. Or wouldn't like having a bunch of rock fly from Quebec to Melrose be contamination? <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, Jay yeah. Meloche. Meloche, uh, a planetary scientist at Purdue University Mello. who also studies impacts, has an early proponent, an early proponent of the Cretaceous dinosaur killing impact theory, Spell is bothered more generally by the Dartmouth researchers' reasoning. A lot of it is, well, we don't understand how this is happening. Must be an impact, Miloš said. That's reason. Uh, that's reasoning I see a lot. It's almost always wrong. Impacts are among the most rare features on the surface of the Earth. What? Okay, that is not true. That <laughs> sounds. You need strong, Completely wrong. tests to prove them. The younger Dryas doesn't pass. A stronger test, <laughs> it says. Uh, even if the Melrose spherules were formed by an impact, there's no way to know whether it happened at the beginning of the younger Dryas. The dirt layers at the site are not have not been precisely dated. That's not a problem faced by the researchers who study Greenland ice cores which provide a precise record of climate change during the last ice age. In those cores, the annual snow layers can be counted like tr uh, tree rings back to the Younger Dryas and beyond. Now, before we go forward, um, Randall talked about this and so have many others. Uh, yep, I was rare, thinking it right now. Rare impacts. That, uh, we, uh, we're finding more and more every day. Like every day, the earth is littered with them. The earth would look like the moon if it wasn't for, you know, our atmosphere and plants and Jupiter. erosion. Yeah. I mean, just look drift. at any other planet in our and galaxy. <laughs> like we've Tectonic seen, plates. they're all yeah. like pitter pattered little freaking impact sites. Like, oh, because we're on the earth, we're different somehow. It's, it's rare for things to come and hit the earth. Well, Randall also That's, talks about the fact that the, the reason insane. they're they're not finding a lot of impact, the, you know, theories based or uh, points based on the younger dryas, is because it hit the ice sheets. Mm -hmm. It right. hit them and they melted, so there wouldn't necessarily be like a huge crater because it hit ice and then melted. And I mean, you show what was that the the iconic Meshugana, you know? Yeah, it, it'll forever now be the <laughs> iconic Meshugana. Uh, but that that's a spot I hadn't even known about that. But like that's looked like a pretty perfect little circle there. Uh, great band, by the way. Um, it you know it's just like uh, that, what what happened there? It looked like it hit, and then as the land uh, the water came back in, it brought a lot of the the land back. And and left what seems to be a nice ring in the center of this area. Like, what would have caused that? How how could that have formed? 
Crazy. Uh, do not know. I do not know. Yep, it's the Earth's bee hole right there. <laughs> he, mm-hmm. He's eating more beef jerky. No, I'm You're done. eating beef jerky, aren't you? Jerky. No, I'm right here. <laughs> no, no, I no. moved on to the Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> they're just, He's picking they're... out of his teeth right now. I can see. <laughs> 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 what is it? Smoky barbecue, huh? It's uh, teriyaki. Okay. Mm, yeah. Okay. Second, second uh, to put the younger dry impact hypothesis to a rigorous test. Oh wait, did I get too fast? Got, Even if you. the Melrose spherules were formed uh, by an impact, there's no way of whether uh, <laughs> we could date the dirt. Uh, that's not okay. To put the younger dry impact hypothesis to a rigorous test, uh, Mikhail Pativ and uh, Mr. Huang <laughs> and Steve uh, Jacobson and Alan Zindler of Harvard decided to look for iridium in one of the ice cores from Greenland. The results appeared in the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences in July. We expected to find nothing. And indeed, they found next to no iridium. But uh, to the researchers' surprise, they found a pronounced spike in platinum that started exactly 12,900 years ago. Over the next 20 years uh, or so, the platinum concentration in the ice uh, rose more than a hundredfold then subsided again. Hmm. In- a- interesting. Interesting. It's almost as if not all asteroids are made of just iridium and iron. Like maybe there's platinum asteroids. I mean, uh, Psych 17 that is worth like, I don't remember what they said, like 20 times the world global GDP combined. By the way, NASA's actually going to start trying to figure out how to harvest mine that. It? They they want to yeah. Is it Not on surprising. the moon or is it just on the media? No no it's it's probably Bruce in the, Willis it, up there. Ben no Affleck. it's I think it's in the uh, what what's the name of the asteroid belt pass through twice a year? We just talked about uh, it earlier. The torrid right? meteor. Torrid yeah the tor- I think I think it's in the torrids but uh, I'm not sure exactly but they they want to mine it not Dude, really whatever it's got, if it gets it's got that- more gold on it than that's existing on the planet. If we can Earth mine right that now. instead of having little African boys like. Scur- scurry down in the I caves. Know. Be, I know. I like that. Yeah, yeah I agree. I like that it a lot be, better. It would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Just clone Bruce Willis and go out. Yeah. Go up there. Ben Affleck too. We could send those creepy Boston Dynamic robots up there. Yep. All See of those them. things. All put, every single one. Put all and of all of the plans there. on how to build them. Yeah. Yeah. That. I think too. there's a bunch of Gen Zers we could send up there too. To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Just get on here, you you Z. They can TikTok, become belters. TikTok nation. Yep. The beltas. Beltalada. Beltalada. It's the about, first season was epic. Right? The first season, first two seasons were great, and uh, it kind of goes downhill after that. Yeah. Just like when it hit Io. Dude. Or, was it Io that hit? What, when? Mars? I don't remember. Well, not explaining the proto molecule like they did in the books was pretty stupid. Yeah, that would have made more sense to actually describe what it was because that that series lost me. We're talking about the expanse for those who are talking don't about know. the expanse, and like the the book series goes on a little too long too. Like honestly, book seven and eight are total waste of time in my opinion. But the last one brings it home. It does. Should you just can you skip seven and eight? Just go. <sighs> like I think like crap? if I is told like you Game of Thrones, like the last book is like so like i love the last I book don't, no I didn't the, like that like wait was it the the second to last book whichever one was like all about characters i did not care about and was like i just want to get oh, back feast to Jon Snow crows. and like a feast for crows Atirian, wait i thought the last one doesn't exist yet well I mean, the last one that came out yeah feast for crows is pretty pointless it is it's a drag man but that's what it sounds like uh seven and eight, seven are and eight. In, yeah in expanse yeah so uh, with seven and eight i could point you to chapters you could read and just read those chapters because it's, it's all out. perspectives and you can skip honestly people's entire sp- perspectives <clears throat> and then go read um, what they did on wikipedia <laughs> gary uh just gonna take this time to point out that you have, still haven't sent me the art bell stuff that i asked for oh well, yeah a, mu- a month it, ago uh, uh, i know yeah. i know it takes time but i want to i want to know Homework. man I, i've got to get you like 10 episodes and um, I every time i art find bell one knowledge. it gets Ricking off of YouTube, so I've oh, got of course. Yeah. Oh, okay, right. I've just got to get them off my my uh my drive. 
That works. All right. I'll give you another uh, two weeks, and then I'm gonna start bitching. And then, and then, and then I'm gonna wait another two weeks. All right. That's what I'm gonna do. You see what I have a to total do with of Melissa? four. Yeah. Melissa's all, "What about me?" And I'm like. <laughs> Stay out of this, Melissa. You know how much stuff we got to do. It's about the profile uh, you'd expect, Pativ said, from dust settling out of the stratosphere after a meteorite impact, or perhaps a series of impacts. Most meteorites contain about as much iridium as they do platinum, a rare kind of uh, a rare kind called mag magmatic iron meteorite. However, is platinum rich but iridium poor i just said that sorry anyway please continue <laughs> of course uh it's possible that a very small meteorite of that type happened to fall right on the part of greenland that humans would extract an ice core from twelve thousand nine hundred years ago in other words the platinum spike may be real but it may be a coincidence that has nothing to do with mammoths or younger Dryas. Okay. Uh, but it's also possible that there's a global platinum layer waiting to be discovered like the iridium layer that proved that there had been a Cretaceous impact. <laughs> but that would, that would be they're Hold on. They, they're using something that would have proven their point to try to disprove their point. That so, doesn't, <laughs> do you see what they tried to do there? <sighs> oh man yeah so uh it, it again there's so many forces <laughs> going against this that like it's still for some reason it's still easier for them to think that a bunch of guys with sticks <laughs> killed a bunch of short-faced bears <laughs> dire wolves it's so and irrational mammoths. like and put them all in the same spot and they're like right, they're all within the same little all over the earth and flooding and i know there's spherules <laughs> but the guys with sticks did it okay but like Come I kind of like hung my entire career and life off of this like theory over here, yeah. so I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's the thing. That's real. just shut up and go dance on TikTok. All right, that's what they want. That's what they want. Come out, Gary. Uh, to deposit as much platinum that's worldwide as did on Greenland around 30 parts per trillion, <laughs> the meteorite would have had to have been around a half a mile across. The Harvard team uh, Harvard team calculates. A rocky object that size would have left a substantial crater. But again, no younger driest crater has been found, except for the one in Greenland. Freaking uh, ice uh, I would bet Freaking on the event not being global. It hit the ice, man. It hit the ice and the floods and all of the different myths. Have the key test, though, will be it's whether the platinum spike turns up in the younger driest layers of Antarctica ice cores. Uh, scientists are sure to be looking for them soon. Uh, Deusin or Ex Machina. Uh, opponents of the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis have raised all sorts of objections to it besides the absence of a crater. Perhaps the simplest is that it seems to be no need for such a Deus Ex Machina to explain the drama that unfolded on Earth 13 millennia ago. Human hunting or climate change or both can explain the demise of the mammoths and other Ice Age megafauna. Except the humans lived alongside those very same mammoth for how long? Right. We we don't even know. That's the the answer is we don't know. Shut up couple, with the logic, Gary. All right. Couple hundred well, thousand enough, years. Enough with the logic. All right. The science is settled. A couple hundred thousand years. All right. And and the climate did 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 change rapidly. Uh, what what can make an ice age stop and restart? And then stop again almost immediately, geologically speaking. Uh, hunter gatherers, all right. Hunter gatherers. Yeah, they, clearly, they lit too many fires and they farted That's too it. much. That was yep. it. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. A lot of beans. Exactly. They, they, ate, they ate too many mammoth. Too and many gave them gas. Too many mammoth. Of, mammoths. Yeah. <laughs> Stomachs weren't evolved to handle it. <laughs> uh, I can't remember. I think it was a Mad a Magazine. A Mad Magazine. Uh, from the 70s i was reading it when i was a kid like hypothesized uh like archaeologists finding our lost civilization and they showed like a king with a toilet on his like using a, like a toilet seat <laughs> oh, as like a crown <laughs> like how archaeologists would see our our civilization today it was oh i'll never forget that that's kind of how i see it i mean every man needs his throne it, they do and it, what if your throne is on your head what if your throne yeah, is your crown i mean 
one person's trash is another person's treasure. I'm just sure. like trying to, f- you know, figure it out. So were yeah. they. Uh, but the fact that an impact isn't needed at the Younger Dryas or some scientists may seem to want uh, too much doesn't mean an impact didn't happen. Uh, if an impact did happen at the Younger Dryas, it may have amplified Earth's own internal sources of upheaval, extraterrestrial terrestrial and terrestrial causes are not mutually exclusive the idea that the system is drifting towards instability but can't quite make it broker said then an impact comes along and it's like a knockout punch but if it hadn't been for the impact then the younger dryas would have just happened later he said it would have gone off by itself but it would have taken longer you wouldn't have meltwater uh the meltwater coming in uh, the what was it meltwater impulse b the, the right. big one or mass extinction or mass extinction researchers are only beginning broker said uh to figure out what an impact did or didn't do it's going to take a lot of people a lot of time tiny glass spherules of rock found in pennsylvania flower bed by a woman who had seen a nova program about the comet hypothesis in a paper that got wide coverage last week dartmouth researchers argued that those spherules were hurled to pennsylvania by the impact in quebec 12,900 years ago uh traces of platinum deposited in the greenland ice cap about the same time harvard researchers argue that the platinum probably came from the extraterrestrial object not a comet however but a rare type of iron rich meteorite feels like i've read this before this is long. So one of this, those articles where it, it keeps just going itself. It must. It feels like I've read that before. I mean, I, I'm glancing and I'm seeing lines and I'm like, it seems like they're just. This is like the book report where you have to hit 5000 <laughs> words. It is due tomorrow. <laughs> and it's like copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. Oh, my God. Wow. Remember when it, National Geographic was just like native woman boobies? Yeah, what happened to that? Good God, all I'm, all I'm seeing is B and H, B and H, B and H, electric bike, electric bike, iridium. Like that's <laughs> that's what I'm seeing here. See Deus in ex machina. It's again that yeah, it's repeating did. itself it's re- like a bunch yeah. of times. So that's weird. Yeah, well, we've we've heard enough. Uh, let's go to the people for a little bit. To the people. To the people. To the people. Where was I? Not there. Not there. It sounds like Garrett's house is like straight popping. It always it's always popping, man. Like Can't what up? It. Wait, you know what? Hey, hold on, hold on. I think I might know how to fix this. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Shut, Shut up, up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 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 Nick's mine is pipe on. down, damn it! I said, Daddy's on a show. <laughs> uh, They're like, screw you, old man. <laughs> Trying to look. Right. We got it. A sour cream citizen for twenty dollars. That's gotta be better. We're bit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. You're is that little... worse? You're no, just louder. It's fine. it's fine. It was louder for like a second. Uh, Wait, it's hit, a, count count to three real quick. One, two, three, eight, yeah, it's, twelve. It's a, little, it's a little loud. Okay, it's fine. Let me turn it down. How's it to you? I had it on mix minus, which I think That's bypasses good. all of the processing, so it doesn't do any like the limiter and the compressor and stuff like that. So it's, like, you it's can just it's pick fine. up everything. Uh, a sour cream citizen for twenty dollars says, "Hail Forbidden Frontier!" Y'all should check out a video by Paul Cook called "Liquid Stone." It came out a year ago, and it pushes the theory that a lot of old sandstone structures were actually cast like cement. It's fascinating. I've heard that. I've heard that, and I think there's there's something to it. Liquefaction um, is what they call. Well, it. yeah, and and if you can find something in nature that, like an animal that can do it, like a bird, it's possible. Then, then it's possible. You know. Um, uh, Neil Horn for fi- uh, $50 says, and thank you says, Hail guys, love the show. I strongly reject the theory that megafauna were hunted to extinction. I think it's total bullshit. I've hunted Same. my whole life, even Cape Buffalo and lion in Africa. Men with stone tools and weapons would get massacred if they tried that. Yes. Even True. if they were, you know, to get them I- for one, they, uh, what, uh, Graham points out is they were very in tune with the earth so they weren't just like slaughtering right. everything 
right? They knew that like they're they're they had that animals had to reproduce, their food had to reproduce. They understood that. So they don't they didn't hunt the things to extinction. Exactly. Uh and 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 that's that's where the the uh well that's where you know Graham gets mad and he calls he, that's where he calls the archaeologists a bunch of racists because he because they see you know people you think from the they're past that stupid as a bunch of savages understand? and they weren't they weren't <clears throat> they were pretty smart smarter than some of these archaeologists I tell you test site for twenty dollars hey Gary I know you mentioned you like Bigfoot stuff I recommended the Bob uh gimlin channel he had or is it gimlin uh he had released a new gimlin. video at the end of his new video it would make your hair stand up not to detour the discussion i'll check it out yeah i'm into it, it it's i go back and forth on bigfoot i just like ugh. so many people have talked about it and seen it but man yeah bob gimlin's a, that's a good channel i really like that channel uh he's a really good storyteller skeptics will never accept the truth no matter the over, uh, overly abundant evidence and facts that prove their mainstream propaganda false. Despite all of the rage, we are still just a rat in the cage. Hey, I was listening to Smashing Pumpkins at the gym, dude. Buford T. Justice. Buford T. Justice Buford for 1990. T. Justice. Thank you. It's a solid name. I love Buford T. Justice. It is. It is. Uh, Geek USA. Great song. Great song by Smashing Pumpkins. Good song to work out to. Big Raj for two Canadian pesos. Nice shirt, Garrett. Yeah. Yeah, dog. Where'd you get that, Garrett? Where'd you get that I shirt? I got that from Big Raj. You got it from Big Raj. That's right. He's, Big Raj gave it to him. He's Canadian. Not sure why he stays there, but. Yeah, look at that. Got I got news, news for you. you. Hey, who asked me about that shirt at Ancient Aliens? It was David Hastert Childress. Yeah. Like, so I was wearing <laughs> yeah. that shirt. He was like, that's a, that's a funny shirt. A funny shirt i didn't want to tell him what it like what the answer to the question was yeah because yeah, <laughs> yeah. he asked i'm like that's ah, kind of a meme thing so what's yeah. the news what's yeah. uh, is the news that, uh, there for you well that means you're gay, means you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Just hey did away. you download your picture yet i forgot to download oh, my i picture. forgot to do that too it's in my car yeah. like the little a little thing. tag yeah so let's download our pictures tonight oh, i'm gonna go do it we'll put them on twitter yeah, he was supposed to show us last week. He was like, oh, I got go, this picture I want to show it. you guys. He's eating beef jerky. Admit I'm it. not. I'm not eating beef jerky. Oh, Garrett. I'm talking cold. about Garrett right and now. Oh, what if I fucking was? Fuck Why that. are you so defensive? Cow. Here. <laughs> I'll eat it right now. Jeez. I don't Rich care. It's okay. <laughs> Richard Gray for $9.99. Hail, Gary. Had a great time watching the Ancient Aliens live evening. Uh, even with you and QB, uh, for anyone who ever wondered, Gary and QB are down to earth guys. Hail to the fellowship. Richard, thank you. I appreciate that. We also bullied him into saying that. Just wanted to say. <laughs> um, any... Uh, I WD for ten dollars. Any bore above can shrug off small arms fire. Hell, talk to any cop who had to light up an intoxicated fat guy, and we are expected to believe our ancestors took out mastodons heavier than a T Rex. That's what he's doing right there. I. That's good. That was that was good. That's good. I totally. He's got agree. a great point. Great point. I mean, I had a uh, an uncle who got his his freaking leg shredded by a boar he was hunting and a, and a boar just started attacking him and it he freaking shot it like eight times and it still ripped him apart and he survived it but it was like dude he got yeah. messed up look at robert baratheon shit he got messed up by a boar well, that that was a story um this is an actual uh, no example. that was that would no, was <laughs> real life Robert baratheon really got messed up by boy that really happened dude that really helped man it really happened man it really happened I believe me no um you're right so uh i i think a man did hunt uh a mammoth uh they they dug pits they had they had to be a bunch of them but sure okay and mastodons but what about dire wolves and short-faced bears that were just short-faced bears predators. 
Don't let the short face fool you. All right. Those things are huge. Dude, they were They're basically huge. Short face, long, huge messed up face fast. you're going to have after you meet it. So they yeah, were like bear, bears are fast. They were like uh, bear cheetahs. That's what they right. were. Like they but bigger, ran, but bigger than bears, but bigger than bears. Yeah. Right. So they're, they were freaking fast and, and 12 uh, feet tall. Like in pretty sight. sure the humans would have stayed away from the short faced bear and the dire wolves and the dire wolves, as, which were as big as the dire wolves in that fake story, a song of ice and fire there. So you admit big. that it's yeah. a fake story. All right. Uh, of course. Good. Jury My problem the same up. Did you get the picture, Garrett? Or I got you... the picture. Boom, right here. Are you going to show us? Hey! Yes! Check it you're, out. All, you're all doing aliens. <laughs> yeah, he told us he's all doing like this. Yeah, yeah. he was like, everybody do it. That's awesome. I think I did it first. I was like, because we lined up to, to take My a picture. Cock right is and he was this like, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I like the guy next to you. He's like, man, I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm going to be honest. It's going to be realistic. <laughs> I know. Well, he's British. <laughs> So <laughs> that's Nick Pope. Is that a thing? British people got small penises. Even better, the guy all the way to the left, he just has one hand up. He's like infinite bitches. Infinite just goes on. That's <laughs> so the guy on the ever. left is a legend. That's David Hatch's clearly Childress. total legend. fucking legend. That guy, love that guy. <laughs> oh, and I did find out Skinwalker Ranch next season, yeah. April. So we're only a couple April. minutes, a couple right. minutes, a couple months away. Yeah, because oh, I didn't even heard it got picked up, and I, I said, "Hey, when are you guys coming back?" And uh, you know, I didn't hear about a season. He's like, "Oh, we'll be back in April." I'm like, "Oh, oh yeah." Were, it, were you allowed to say that publicly? Too late. I, I didn't sign a damn M MDA. I'm here for the people. I'm here for the people. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> WG says the shit faced bears were the toughest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Cocaine bears. Yeah, cocaine Gear bears. Gary learned that when he moved to San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 thank you. Thank you. You like that, Gary? <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, remember also, the, also gross. Was it called? Oh, Melissa's in the chat still. The Eagle Tavern. So a buddy of mine was in uh, a, a rock band, like a mid-level rock band from the early 2000s. And uh, to avoid the groupies, to avoid uh, the Eli Elizas, <laughs> they uh, they went to this bear bar called the. Uh, at least that's their excuse, guys. Like <laughs> I don't know for real. I just went to meet them at the Eagle Tavern, which was a bear bar. And uh, yeah, I had dudes wanting to buy me drinks and stuff. It sounded like a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. It was like stand up and go, wait a second. This what? isn't a normal bar. Why is everyone a man in here? I'm like, hey, really why are nice they to me? Why are they looking why at me? Why can't we like hang that? out with the groupies? <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> These are the groupies, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> wow. Awkward silence. <laughs> wait. I got the other picture. You got the other. What did you get? So the this other was picture? the first one. This was the first picture we took. Yeah. Uh, you two were all about it. Hell yeah! I was fired up to be there. I like. I told Garrett, I'm like, I got this super gay <laughs> VIP thing, and we're gonna like straight up ham up the pictures, dude. And we did. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. They were totally cool though. They were all cool, and it was really. Uh, the event was a little scripted. You know. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it wasn't. I was telling like, Adam about it. It was a little like yeah. it was more like a presentation about the whole show and not really yeah. like a this we're is hanging out and talking about stuff. Yeah. I kind of wish yeah. it was more like laid back. Yeah, like William That'll Shatner. You know, William Shatner's show is with Ratha Khan was probably the same everywhere, but he made it feel like it was a unique show to where you were at because William mm. Shatner's fucking William Shatner. He's the G. He's, He's the a G. Pro. Oh yeah. Yeah. But he knew what he was doing. So it felt fe everything felt ad libbed. It might not have been. I don't know. I didn't care. So after like Shatner was off, if you have a chance to go see him, it's 65 bucks. He you see Rathacon and then he talks about it for like an hour, 15 minutes afterwards. It's freaking great. That's a the good Grizzly. Break. 
Uh, to be a devil's advocate, nobody wants a devil's advocate. No, I'm just kidding, Grizzly, for $20. Uh, would it be possible that the humans could have out competed the megafauna for resources? Uh, we have examples outside and later than the younger uh, Dryas did ev uh, even 20,000 years ago, 40 foot uh, Komodo dragons. 40 foot Komodo dragons? Fuck that. 40 foot. Foot oh, hold on, oh, yeah. I, I heard that, over here. Uh, no, 40 feet. Yeah, no, I, I never. <laughs> I don't even that. like him when at their four foot size. Um, like I don't like that. So for uh, okay, so twenty thousand years ago, we would have been at the height of the ice age. So there would have been fewer resources. Yes, and there were certain extinctions happening already. Yes, but there were four species of elephant in America. Four. There were camels in America. There were horses in America. There were short-faced bears. There were 20-foot sloths. I mean, some of the stuff, sure. And I think it might have contributed somewhat to it, but not like not everything all at once. And where are the Clovis people? Yeah, but you also have to take into account that like the, the amount of people on the planet was tiny. It's not like if there was the 8 billion people on the planet at that time. Right, just five hundred years ago, it was three hundred million, million. How many now, were when Columbus got here and the Spanish got here? How many people? Uh, well, South America had a lot of people, and they were living in the freaking well, Amazon I mean, jungle. There was millions of people living in the Amazon. Right, but that's basically around the same time for six, five hundred, six hundred years ago. There's so. a million people where I live, and it doesn't look like there's a million people here. Right. You no, know, but that, it, it, exactly. And, and so that's just it, in this it, little area. So we're talking a few million. How many people were here? I'll look it up. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. this argument that the Grizzlies, the devil's advocate side, just to, you know, let's take take it as, as it is. There wasn't enough people. I highly doubt there would be enough people to make that yeah. much of a significant impact on all of these species going extinct. And what's what, the now? ratio for for mammoths and and uh humans at that point it's like a hundred to one right it was a, it There's was no a lot way. yeah There's there, no there was not that many uh humans on this side and that's on the planet is that plant what? globally that's what they're saying or is or it in the, no, in north was here. it was on north america well it was on in the western hemisphere so a hundred to one a hundred to one and it could be more than that it was what a woolly mammoth massive eat. it's probably one. Like and it's all right? guessing it's all freaking guessing we have no real idea Okay. I think they wouldn't they be herbivores? I mean, elephants don't eat meat, do they? That's true. But, you That's know, true. we don't but find we don't meat? find mass human graves unless they were buried, and it's all within the last three thousand years. But we don't find mass human graves, but we do find mass graves of mammoths everywhere. A herd animal everywhere, mm. uh, and and you know, again, the guy who was on Joe Rogan. Uh, Alaska Boneyard, he would not answer the question whether he found human remains. That means he did. At, which you know, which, you know, he did. Yeah, he can't answer that question because if he does, then the archaeologist can come in and shut him down. But if it's as long uh, as it's animals, wait, why? He's good, because then it's d different. Because it, now it it's like a indigenous people, and it, yeah, it just mm. listen. There was a lot of shitty grave robbing. Like it's fucked up what the uh, what the settlers did, and I mean they were settlers but they destroyed all our, all the mounds there were millions of mounds millions in America. not the krigler mounds not the krigler mounds they still the still there. other mounds They're still there shell mound they put uh emeryville there that's where you know pixar is right near where shell mound used to be can't touch these mounds baby can't touch this krigler so mounds is too strong. the biggest mounds man the biggest mounds huge i was watching of land. Oh, i was telling these guys uh I, I have a Samsung television. I'm going somewhere with this, so follow me. Oh, I have a Samsung TV that it's 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 a it it's a it's a monitor and a TV, but it's a wireless TV, so I could you know go to my wireless and I can get Netflix and like all the other TVs. But it comes with the Samsung TV channel, and I accidentally found it one day, and it's mostly like flipping houses and whatever. But I found the unexplained zone. I like that. Which yeah, oh. yeah. The unexplained zone, which is not as good as our title, I think, plays Great. ancient aliens and all the ghost shit all day, like all day, 
all day. So that's the channel I have on in the background right now. I just let just it go. Roll. Just roll it. Uh, they had the episode with David Hatcher Childress on Ancient Aliens where he went to the um, um, the college in Utah, Utah, New Mexico. And he went into the back room. And he opened up a cabinet and he found the giant skulls. The giant oh, skulls yeah. one. Yeah. And this is from like one of the early seasons. It's from 10, 12 years ago. And it doesn't look like it. When you hold them up, you're just like, yeah, those are pretty big looking skulls. But yeah. I couldn't tell, you know, and, and he didn't have a little skull to, but he had like a normal size skull to, he had a jawbone, a little lower jawbone to compare to these skulls. And it was, holy shit. It looked I mean, like a could child. he have just held it up next to his own head. Here's my skull and compare. I think a buddy of his, of his let him in to this place. Cause they were in like the most normal uh, mundane, like back room, lunchroom cabinet. Ca like they weren't like wrapped in plastic or anything. He just opened <laughs> up a cabinet and they're like in a lunch room uh, and he pulls them out and well, they got to be careful with them now. And this is why we can't dig stuff up because so, so much of it was destroyed in the mounds. So much of it to where like even the, the tribes that are still around, they'll say, Hey, this, this, you know, these mounds weren't our people, but they'll still protect it just because. Right. And, and I, I'm not against that. I'm not, you know, from grave robbers and stuff. Yeah. I'm not totally against that, but, uh, or, or even the other side of it is like we you have Egyptian scientists that are like, hey, look, we found a new mummy. Let's open it right here now. <laughs> right I know. Now. Hey, let's open it. And they're like, wow, Genius. it's it's a Genius. mummy. And they're like poking at it. No, no one's wearing masks. No nope, one's wearing nope. gloves. Oh, and then here, here's this crumbling apart. Let's open this sarcophagus that's been completely sealed. Why, why did they seal it like this for 3,000 years? Let's open it. Oh, and then the spores come out. And we all turn into zombies. Yeah, I get it. Right. Yeah. The mummy we've makes seen, a lot more sense. this movie. Well, how about the lead before. coffins that they put the people in the Spanish flu? And they were thinking about digging them up the other day. It's like, why? Right. <laughs> or like the functions? Russians the Russians digging yeah. in the, in the uh, Siberian out, or like area. Of well, the permafrost. Anth like anthrax. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, look, anthrax is back. Yeah. Oh great! Look, it's just back now. Oh, the Black Plague! Wow, check this out, guys. Let's send it to uh, bio labs in Ukraine. Sorry, wrong subject. What? Um, what <laughs> you can get one of those tickers at the bottom of the video. To gain Learn a about COVID nineteen. Uh, the grizzly for twenty dollars. Oh, New Zealand on. as oh, yeah. well as as well as terror birds, but when humans came to their uh, the megafauna went extinct. I don't think they were speared to death, but maybe humans starved them out or from going in their prey or something. Yeah, I mean, like it could have been diseases. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. I think I think too many humans on this planet give humans too, way too much credit. For yeah, things. I believe that, too. But like, the same thing is like they don't even eat. We don't eat the same things as a megafauna would like mammoths. So why would they all go extinct in one location like that? It's well, more importantly, what Gary mentioned earlier, it's like humans, when they were hunter gatherers, understood that there's a balance in nature. Mm -hmm. You know, things need to eat certain things to have a balance to continue the cycle. If you that just was their eradicate entire life, exactly. If you eradicate one thing out of that system, the whole system will crumble. Yeah, it's like just, they, it, they've been doing it for thousands of years. Why would they so we still do it the, to this day? Like we mess stuff up like that. And Our it's weird do, so. that all of this stuff went down 12,900 years ago. That's where the, right. the, it started. A small yeah. window. All, like right there. Very Not over a span window. of a thousand years. It was like 50 years. Everything died. And, and, and the megafauna on the other side of the planet in Africa survived. It's still there walking around. Big old hmm. elephants. Yeah, that's almost like it was on, in India. on the yeah, other there. side of the planet in, in, in a safe zone from a catastrophe that would have taken place on the other side where everything got taken out. Huh. Interesting. It's weird. It's weird. Remember day after tomorrow? They all had to go to Africa at the end. Am I the only one who saw that movie? That was based on Art Bell's book. The Com Coming Global Superstorm. Uh, it was a terrible movie. I just found no with Jake Gyllenhaal movie. and yeah and, uh, Dennis Quaid. No, I just found this where they in, could run a, away from freezing. Oh like, yeah, a wave of free frost coming. If, if, if you like, stayed near a, away. 
from absolute zero from space. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm uh, Carl read Sagan. This. Let's see that. Let's see that. This is my the next book I'm going to read. But but listen listen it's it's called the Demon Haunted World: Science as a Candle in the Dark. But listen listen to the, this. How can we make intelligent decisions about our increasingly technolo uh, technology driven lives if we don't understand the difference between the myths of pseudoscience, new age thinking, and fundamental zealotry and the testable hypothesis of science. I'm excited to read that. That's yeah, that sounds dope. It's gonna be good. I'm yeah, currently report, reading Stormlight Archive. Oh yeah. I'm on the third book right now. Yeah. Same. It's, have you read it? No, my friends do though. I, I've read Mistborn. Great Those are the ones series. I got in. I love Mistborn. It's so good. Read Mistborn. It's awesome. It's got a female protagonist it. that is got actually what really good. I ain't read any with chicks in it. She's actually pretty good. It's in there. It's in there she goes through training, this thing called training to be better at the things that she does. Wow. She doesn't just get it right off the right off the bat. What? Oh man, if you yeah. I know you don't yeah, care Miss, about Star Miss Wars, Wars and I don't either, but like are you hearing the, the Ray continued story? God, I hope oh, so. God. Rumors. I hope <laughs> so, man. I Wait, hope so. Tell me so. about it. So like, you know, failure. Abject failure. Last uh, last Star Wars movie that came oh, out no. in the trilogy. No, no, she's she's the opposite of a failure. She oh, I'm sorry, yeah, abs absolute uh, success was the Star Wars right. trilogy that Disney made, and they're going to continue right. it. This is the rumor that, and they're continuing it with Ray's story. So, what the uh, hell is? I really what, hope her so. story is the least interesting story out of <laughs> everyone know. in that in I those we're movies. At, we're in the first mass extinction of imagination. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. It's true. It was Disney that came down I agree. and blew everything up. Grizzly, thank you for the devil's advocate. Appreciate yeah, it. I think we need it. Grizzly's like, great awesome. conversation. Hell yeah. Great conversation. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was all yeah, natural, was, by the way. Wow. Nice. Thanks, all, Peter all Brady. <laughs> just dropped, the second one just dropped just now <laughs> yeah. in the show. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's so good. Um, I feel I feel so much different. Whoa. What? I really do feel <laughs> I don't know, older. I and <laughs> I do as well. I don't have these sound effects. What the heck? <laughs> You're slapping your your eardrum. I'm gonna blow your eardrums don't, again. Don't do it. Was, it was I guess my balls have dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Nerdrotic has his balls oh. now. Congratulations. I have a large robot. I can do this. Or a small yeah. robot. Just like this Garrett, useless human Garrett, here, man. What, what are heck? you waiting for, man? You gotta get get some fun. Fun voice mods on your shit. Gotta get that voice mod thing. <laughs> I gotta turn it off. Uh, Johnny J for nine ninety nine says, "I saw a guy on Rogan saying that they are going to clone woolly mammoths to re uh, to release in Siberia to lower carbon emissions because they stomp snow down to stop old ice from melting." Sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm all for it. I want him to bring them back. But I mean, cow farts. Are being blamed. yeah. I thought it was bad. So have... like, well, you don't think no, bully so, mammoths okay. fart? So Siberia, bully mammoths fart no, too. What Gary, what he's talking about? What he's talking about? They do, but there is a bunch of methane in the permafrost that's melting. So you know mm. those giant holes that they've found. So the Earth was, is just right. farting. It, it's just basically continue. the Earth farting. Uh, I don't know if they've there was any recently, but I know like back in 2013 and 12, right out of the like four of them, man, right out of the Meshuggah. <laughs> They, 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 there was like a blowhole, like it was like an earth butthole that and that's, farted. And that's actually uh, funny enough when it earned the iconic status of, <laughs> yes. of the iconic Meshuggah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I keep forgetting the iconic. It's my. It's my. Hey, Garrett, look up. Uh, I'll always the, remind you if there's been any more uh, like explosions. And so, those are weird, man. And then they fill up with water, right? And they're perfectly round. Have you seen these? It's insane. Okay. Is it yeah. is like there are there more than just the I don't know, in I, Siberia? I know the iconic Michigan? No, no, no. There you, no, there you go. No, you caught you yourself. Don't know what I'm talking about. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, uh, are you talking about the yeah. methane holes? The methane they... holes in Siberia. Yeah, the, in the, Siberia. The, what? Yeah, I've seen the the land where they're like standing on, and they're like, whoa. That shit just blows at some point. Uh, that's what she said. Um, hey, here I'll read the super chat. Find it. 
Garrett, you'll be able to find it pretty quick. Uh, Big Coffin Hunter for $10 says, Garrett, it's me, Sean, from middle school. It's crazy I bumped into you. I was just thinking about all the wedgies we would give you in the locker room showers. Love the show. Gives my brain a jinkies. Wow. There's a, there's a lot there's a lot of layers to that there's a lot chat. Yeah. You in junior high really? uh i didn't go to middle school so there's that wait a minute i mean that explains a lot but you didn't how did it you does. not go to middle school i was homeschooled then i talked to you about this you were that explains actually, it was a in lot my, it was actually. in my my Resume? application i said like look i'm retarded i can't i never went to school <laughs> i didn't read that oh well then that's why we work so well together I know, right? Hey, that was holes. like TLDR. Threw it to my <laughs> yeah, wife, whatever, and uh, and just yep. went. Don't wear the well, man bun. And are you retarded? You said yes. I'm all your height. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna need that man bun uh, stricken, please. Stricken from the record. I I've seen his man bun. All right. And I'm I'm not it. defending it or Don't. condemning it. I, I, I wore a man bun. I had man bun for a long time. I had long hair, hair for sometimes. You know, most most of my adult up. life. Multiple, you see, look, I'm a multifaceted hair connoisseur, all right? I do when I had tail, long hair, bun, I had it flowing. I do the flow, you know? That's, are you put growing a hat it back or, a hat? or no? Yeah, it's kind of cool, man. No, no. You got to grow no. it back, bro. No, I'm not. I'm not, not going to grow it back. I, I'm done having long hair. It's Damn. annoying. And my wife likes it short. So. You guys are a bunch of bun bigots. That's what you are. Wow. <laughs> I, had, I had a bun longer than, than you did, all right? Oh, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about uh, I'm talking about you. You, in you said chat, it. I see you in the you chat. You said it plural. I see all you right. in the chat. <laughs> all right, chat. Well, listen. We can all thank Jennifer Lawrence for really paving the way for yeah, man Yeah, thank buns. you, Jen. Yeah, thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer Lawrence. This is one of those holes. Wow. I'm just going through Google Earth. Yep. Like Google that images. Really yeah, looks it. like the Earth's butthole. Let's uh, let's I be real. Uh, it just it just it you, needs Lisa. the two it needs the two hands on either side. Oh no! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I mean, it's come good. on, you can see it though. You can't unsee it. So yeah, these, wow, these, really these does it really just look... and they just wow. they just freaking explode in a uh, O ring, <laughs> so, perfect O ring. Wow. Oh my gosh! Do it's you think we'll find worms. some uh, some Mandalorian armor down there? Uh, mystery. Ooh. Iberia's exploding craters. Well, the mystery of the exploding craters. So the mystery the, behind Earth's buttholes. <laughs> is it just? I mean, is it like literally the Earth just getting rid of gases and going? Yeah, poof. probably. Now you got a hole. Oh, Perfect. this is 2020, so it's still going on. Yeah, it's still, still going a mystery. On. So something's blowing up. What their their hypothesis is? It's global warming and it's melting the methane gas. Climate like, change. They don't use global warming anymore because it's, right, sorry, that's it, it has been debunked. Climate Get it right. Like it's it's a right. global warming. Oh no, it's can't. Just changing. Any like, direction. And... That way that? we we could apply that to any situation ever. It's just climate changing. Yeah. Tornado. Climate change. <laughs> Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Climate Nobody change. cares. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know what would make it ignite unless it was just trapped. If it was under pressure and it was trapped and then it just blew. Sure. Dun, 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 I mean, glad dun. it's happening up there. Hey, yeah, pressure makes diamonds, baby. It does. <laughs> also makes men. There it is. That's why everybody yeah. from freaking Siberia like ridiculously strong. Diamond chins. Uh, everybody from Siberia is tougher than most people in yeah. America. I can say that pretty probably. Like I mean, they, they, like when these explosions were happening, they were talking to the people who live there, who are are, are nomadic uh, people, right? So they heard it. They're like, "Yeah, we heard it. It's really freaking loud. <laughs> you know, it's really loud." We <laughs> went me out. Up at night. Yeah, I'm just trying to survive up here. You know, it's really cold. Yep. I'm hungry. All right? I'm, uh, I got other things to worry. I'm about. milking my goat right now, and you're asking me about something that blew up. So what? Stop asking Circle me. Circle of life, man. bitches. Get off uh, my lawn. Get off my. <laughs> get off, off my permafrost. Permafrost. <laughs> IWD for twenty dollars says uh, regarding giant komodos, they were called. Oh my god, Magalania. I think the. Uh, 
MAGA needed to be co capitalized. I, I, MAGA. Yeah. MAGA-LANIA. Yeah. MAGA. MAGA. Lania. Maga right. Lania. They were like the greatest Komodo dragons of all time. And they time. were huge. They were huge. They were huge. 25 to 30 feet long, kind of like my penis. That's uh, actually think, uh, that's actually Melania's uh, nickname. Yeah, Melania. Whenever, whenever, Maga you know, Melania. Hive is behind the doors. <laughs> He's like, Maga Lania, come here. Come Get here. here. <laughs> Give the president a smooch. I'm going to come. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I uh, love my soundboard. I have, I have fun. Anyway, please continue. I didn't put He's that like, one in there. Yet. I've got a sound. I got a sound. Huge. Oh, boomer. Huge. No, like I usually had that one in my soundboard. It's in Garrett's, but uh, unless you read oh, I, I got I, you covered. I, I, I deleted them. I saved them, but I took them off the actual keyboard. And I don't want to hit it because I'd blow your eardrums again. Uh, they were called uh, Magalania, I think, uh, and got 25 to 30 feet and weighed between 300 and 4,000 pounds, fatty. That's a big difference. Uh, Australia Damn. was a crazy place, including lion-sized Tasmanian tigers and two-foot platypus with neurotoxin spurs. <laughs> I want the, the uh, deadly platypus you had, like killer platypus. That's fucking nah, awesome. man. The, I'm so glad we that. live in, in Not these Australia. days. Australia. It's like, I'm, dang. I'm really glad we we live in not Australia. Yeah, not there. Where everything seems Rick. to want to kill you. Well, Adam, yeah, just lives where you could freeze to death and you never see the sun. But um That's true. Actually, that, what kind of animals you got up there? Some wolves, some deer. There, elk. Well, I think I think there? well yeah, I well yeah, there's elk, there's moose, uh, and there are some wolves. I've seen one wolf since I've been here. And I got very lucky because supposedly they, they don't come down this far south. Um, but I almost ran into two moose, uh, oh, which shit. is really cool. It's meese. <laughs> I slowed down <laughs> and and I was like three feet away from them. I like looked into the, wow. the dude's eyes Holy and shit. I was like, I was like, we're cool. And he was like, what? And then he ran off. You know, he did one of those. It was fun. Did you see one of those car crashes where the the moose is going across the street and it hits the car and then the moose just landed back on its legs and just walked off? Totally I fine. Flick, I think he flicks them off first. He, was he like, does. He gives them the hoof, you know, and then, then yeah, he keeps walking. There. Tough puppies. Okay. Big Coffin Hunter for 10 says, Adam, super vague connection, but the back of the book you just read reminds me of the quote, no one really knows exactly what happens when we think. Therefore, we can never really know or ever know anything. I love that. That's great. What, where's that quote from? Sorry, Gary. I had to. I had to. I saw it was for me. I wanted to take Zero. control there. It's all right. No, no. Go for it. Uh, interesting. Yeah, that's cool. I like that quote. Hey, Big no Coffin Hunter exactly. is my friend that gave me wedgies in a school I didn't go to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So back off. Is that right. All right. Your fantasies are quite uh, hey, real. I, I, disturbing. This is my fantasy is real. He <laughs> said it in a super chat. That Oddly specific real. and disturbing. Is <laughs> <real. laughs> that you? Ooh. I gotta have that one. I can keep that one. Toasty. That's a, I know it's good, right? Let's go. Uh, what do you guys think of the ton, uh, what do you guys think the Tunguska event was? Uh, the Grizzly for two dollars. A I think it was a meteor that blew up in the atmosphere and leveled everything under it. Yep. Uh, uh, and there was witnesses. There was witnesses. There's actual witnesses to it. So uh Randall does a great uh, special on it, just go to his channel and look up Tunguska event. Um, I don't know enough about it to to say what I think it is. I, yeah. I think it was a, uh, well, I, we saw, I forgot the name. You know what really woke me up to a lot of this stuff? So with the meteor. And then, like, going down that rabbit hole. I've always believed in ancient civilizations, but I never thought about the comet stuff. And, and I, I didn't hear about the research in 2007. But when that meteor uh, went off in 2013 over Russia and everybody got the car video of it. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. And you saw for Smashed the first time. We, and stuff. This is shit we hear about all the time. But this was just 150. No, the Tunguska was only 150 feet. This one was smaller. Yeah. It was smaller. Blew up in the at atmosphere. It injured over a town, injured uh, 1,500 people, just destroyed this this. Uh, all the windows in this town yeah. but the the thing was the sound wave that came so much later people were like look at that you know there's all this video of them tripping on the the and then all of a sudden boom you know and it's like yeah. holy shit you know and 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 i wouldn't have known I, so now i know well if i see one of those things in the sky i don't want to be standing next to a window 
Like, I want to make sure yeah. I'm not standing next to a yeah. garage door or a window. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. But that I wouldn't know that. There was a, a, a city that went went completely blind. Um, there was a it was like a ship that exploded. That was that was like it was a city that was right on the river and the ship exploded and everyone was like, whoa, there's a ship or no, it was like smoking. Right. And then everyone was looking and out then, their windows and then oh, it blew up in the shockwave. In... Do you know what I'm talking about? What was this I from? know exactly what you're talking about. This is in Libya. Did it like blow their eyeballs? And like... it wasn't yeah, a glass ship. went in their eyeballs. It wasn't no, a ship. Wasn't there a was ship. a what fire. Was it? it was phosphorus. They had a bunch of manure. And they stored it on, on in, in a big warehouse, and they just forgot oh, yeah, about a it. Couple, and some a few years fireworks ago? or something no, caught on fire. No, and no, then no. When that, it, it wasn't one. a couple years ago. It was, it was a while ago, long time ago. Like well, no, this one was just ago. a. This was in 2020, dude. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I'm, I'm talking, talking about some. I'm talking about something that happened like 60 or 70 years ago. Uh, I, I saw like black and white newspapers uh, of like oh, old okay, tiny gotcha, shit. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, not, not, not that one. So uh, what, that, what made the ship blow up? I, I don't remember. Let me let me see if I can go. I, let me see if I can find it. Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence. It was Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Here's what we're talking about. Hang on a second. Watch this. Yeah. yeah so there's a normal crazy. explosion. There's a normal explosion. Boom and boom. Oh, and uh, there you can see um dude just leveled that whole dock the whole harbor yep everything gone there's a oh. lot of conspiracy theories Eat. about all that i mean stuff. well I that was after they removed Qaddafi. yeah that was after they removed Qaddafi, and they were like it was already bad there but things were getting better you never know. You never know. Not saying Qaddafi was a good guy, but he was trying to do things there that uh, our government didn't like, like changing their uh, what what uh, the petrol dollar. They were trying to move away from the petrol dollar. Little independence over there in in Africa, which we we yeah. just can't have as a global government. We can't have any independence in Africa. Like they can't. They Why are can't, there so many people thinking can't that do I things quit. on their own without Western countries? So it's called. Why does everybody the think I quit? What the heck? You're here. I see you. Uh, like so a, it was called like the, the Halifax explosion. Oh whoa! And uh, hey. it was yeah, the, the well known as the biggest man made explosion of the pre atomic era. The event was also the largest mass blinding in Canadian history. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, what was it caused by? Yeah, it was a ship. It was moving too fast and passing ships on the wrong side of the narrow harbor. A munition ship named the Mont Blanc. Oh shit! Okay, was entering the harbor, Munitions. encountered the emo in its path, and uh, yeah, it the lit drums of benzol, oh. oh, and flammable coal tar product stored in the Mont Blanc. So it started, it started shooting these big plumes of smoke, and everyone went to go look. And they were like, oh, wow, look at this. And then it blew up. And then all the glass and like all these people went blind because of the explosions. Damn. Wow. So that, that was just a man-made accident. Let oh, apparently it's I, not I, Libya. I, it's Lebanon. Le Le Lebanon. Did say, why did I say Libya? Lebanon. Because you're racist. Racism. Yep. That's well, what it was. Because I'm... Bigotry. Really. Bigotry. Patriarchy. That was white. it, too. White. Supremacy. Of the white kind. <laughs> Oh man, um, I want to talk about. I, I don't have too much time. I, I would like to. It is four a.m. for me. Um, I, I want to talk oh, about the it? equator, uh, real quick. Yeah, the shifting of the equator. So one thing that I noticed in this video that you you sent me was, and I, I hadn't really thought about this because I've I've heard about the the differing equator that went through Easter Island, that went through uh, Anchor Wat, that went through the perfectly straight with the pyramids, and and also. It comes right next to the rich art structure as well, the Eye of the Sahara, which he doesn't talk yeah. about. But I found I, I went and cross referenced. I was like, yeah, it's right there. The That's line crazy. goes right next to it, not That's through awesome. it, which would have been insane. But it's yeah. just like just to the south. The same with Easter Island it didn't go exactly through Easter Island, but right there. Um, but one thing that he kind of just said, but then doesn't talk about anymore, is that the the axis of the Earth was thirty would have been thirty 
30 degrees different. And I'm like, that's kind of a lot. That's kind of a huge yeah. deal. If if something shifted the trajectory or like the, the whole axis of the earth, 30 degrees, like that's crazy. Uh, yeah, I that see that's that's a bit much. Uh, but the one question I have, and that's the only reason, like we we talk about this, is I you know, I think there it could be a little bit true. Uh, they talked. There is a video like the they believe the Earth tilted, you know, before the dinosaurs died. Okay, but like so that was the last time that it made that, a major that, shift. That it might that that maybe the shift happened. They, they don't know for sure. Some people just think the shift has always been there, but I, I do not believe that because the earth has been a snowball. The earth has also had a, a global temperature, give or take, of two degrees from pole to pole. Like it's just been a, a jungle. It's Dagobah. It was basically Dagobah. Uh, this comes from uh, Chuck from CFAPS 7865. He passed away. I want to say over a, a little over a year ago, yeah. year and a couple months ago from a heart attack. But I, I go to, I went to this guy's channel all the time. I found him through secure team, but he was a big fan of Randall and Graham Hancock. And he like, his deal was Google maps. He's one of those Google maps guys, Google earth. Sorry. Where he just scoured Google earth all day. So like he the does. Show. Yeah. <laughs> it's part of our hallmarks. Yeah. So he does Google this earth. little thing on the Nazca lines. And we can't play the whole thing because Adam's got to go soon, but he talks about Piri Reese and stuff. Thought I would make a wrap up video to this Nazca line work I've been doing. It's just apparent to me that uh, if this was indeed the function of the Nazca lines to extend them out over the whole earth, it seems to me somebody was using these to map the earth a long, long time ago. When you take the lines out of Nazca here, this is from my video from a couple days ago. If you take the lines out of Nazca and you extend them around the earth and they all converge, at Angkor Wat, it just looks like a modern day globe with latitude or longitude lines. That is just what it looks like. That's just common sense. So that brought up a couple other issues that I wanted to go over. And one of them was the very first upload I did was uh, Graham Hancock talking about these really ancient maps that uh, are really strange and mysterious. Hey, and pause it, three pause it real quick. And this, this you need know, about 600 Wait, yep. years ago. I'm and pausing it was it. drawn off much earlier map. Yes. Okay. So this this map actually, Jimmy Jimmy was talking about this map, and and I don't know if I haven't actually seen Randall reference this map, but Jimmy was referencing this map because of the uh, Randall's referenced it. Oh, it, maybe it was Randall. Mm -hmm. I thought it was Jimmy who was referencing. Well, this Jimmy, map. I, all three of them have. They've all yeah, referenced. That's, it, that's yeah, that's that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, can continue, please. He's like, but beef jerky, hey, teriyaki. It's good, but I'm also paying attention. So the Perry Reese map is based on older source maps. And th and we know that because Perry Reese wrote that on the map. Ah, okay. And this isn't the full map. It's just partial. This is from the 1500s. Long time ago. Yeah. We didn't know Ant Antarctica was there, but it's there. Uh, well, there's and, also and other stuff. And based on that equator line, Antarctica was basically where South America would have been or where South America is. Yeah, now. the map's not oriented correctly, and they weren't beautifully done back then because I right. had no idea of launching. Well, I'm talking right. about based on his Google Earth image. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. Where the, the new or the old oh, equator yeah, yeah. line would have been. Antarctica wasn't at the South Pole. It was mm -mm. like kind mm -mm. of near the side. Oh, wait till he gets to it. It's, it's a bit much for me, but I think. Randall's brought up the fact that there was a bunch of mammoth in Siberia and it was really warm. There wasn't permafrost. It was, it was thought out ground where giant mammoths and mastodons could graze uh, at, with, with very few, if no predators, there was tons of them. Uh, that the really point... doesn't make much sense though, because if you look at where he says the North pole is, it's Southeast Alaska. It's and southeast Alaska. But the distance from that to Siberia to where the North Pole is now is almost the same. So it, but he's it also would still be the same it, kind of an environment. It it it, it would be. It would be. Um, 
I'm thinking like, okay, you might be onto something with the equator. It might not have been a lined up. It is interesting that there's a straight line that goes through Angkor Wat. All, all, all these yeah. spots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's interesting. But I think more. Machu Picchu, the pyramids, yeah. Easter Isle. I mean, it is a lot. Or whatever that spike is in the Pacific Ocean. I don't even know what that was. Why? I, I, I think that who knows what it was. This was yeah. made eight years ago, by the way. Okay. If this was indeed the old equator of the Earth, then the old North Pole would have had to have been in southeastern Alaska. So that's kind of a tough concept to grasp, how the Earth would have got thrown off its axis by that, by so much. And then I remembered a couple uploads that I have done, and one of them, Michael Tessarian talks uh, or he quotes from a book by Alan and Dallaire called Cataclysm Earth, one of the best books on an ancient cataclysm that happened around 12,000 plus years ago where we were hit by something big, uh, maybe a fragmented comet or asteroid. Uh, the Clovis people went extinct at this moment. The woolly mammoth and many other species of animals went extinct. So we're going to go. Yeah, but so, but that, that's an interesting thing he just said, though. Is he, he's claiming aspect. right here, he's claiming right here that what hit us 12,000 years ago is what changed the the angle of our, of the earth. Mm -hmm. That's that's a major statement. And it's like you can't just say studies have shown. You sh what sh what studies? Like uh, what? what what studies are telling us that the whole earth shifted 30 degrees because if that's true, right? Then we might not be able to even stop the the slow change of what Okay. like our so environment it did, is it going did. through like uh, our earth did shift 30 degrees 30 degrees it went from it, the younger dryas it, no no not from the younger dryas they think it was prior 20 million pri 20 million years prior to the dinosaurs well this is saying twelve thousand years ago yeah i'm saying that it might have shifted a little bit but like in the uh the example i'll give the 30 degree change that did happen the change that did happen i can't i can't say for sure it's 30 degrees okay right the change that did happen would have put new york where florida is now new york city okay. where florida is now so that that did happen we just don't know when we we don't know um i i think it might have it could have happened a couple of times like why not you know how how come Antarctica had it was lush and green continental drift or something else or both hmm. have you, you have know? you seen uh I've read about the core the earth core changing rotation I have I just don't know how we know that right since we don't know what's in our core we yeah. think we know and it's probably nickel right it's probably I've only nickel. seen two sources so far and it was IGN and CNN and I was like, eh, I'm going to wait till I'd other, wait. Pe other yeah. people talk about this. Uh, the poll is definitely changing, but for sure that like, we know that. Yeah, we know that That's they've true. had to reorientate like uh, airports. Uh, but like, this is just, a, I'm putting it out there because the one thing that is a big mystery is how did all those mammoths get flash frozen? The ones where like, even, you know, the guy who was talking to, uh, uh, Boneyard, Alaska, they were finding tendons on right. bones, not just muscle, tendons, flesh, fur, like crazy shit. So that's, um, that's freezing very, very fast. So, so when a asteroid comes through the atmosphere and, and you know about the, there's a huge hole in the, it punches in the atmosphere. A hole, yeah. it uh, punches there, a there hole. literally is a huge hole in that area that, that, opens and closes like like lungs of the earth and it's a straight up hole in the atmosphere and um when something like tuskegee or not tuskegee the tukunga what, what was the freaking event you just talked about earlier the uh uh anyway the thing that what was it tuskegee airmen tuskunga <laughs> whatever the hell it was um <laughs> if, it, if it came in and exploded in the atmosphere Tuguska. 
Fingusta. Fingusta. Yeah, that that thing. Anyway, uh, an asteroid exploding. <laughs> teriyaki <in the> event. <laughs> the teriyaki event. <laughs> well, who's to say it, it's not just damaging the ground? Who's who's to yeah. say it doesn't actually rip a hole in the atmosphere, allowing a lot of Fingusta. like exposure to? Well, I, you notice on on a clear night, it's a lot colder when there's no clouds, because there's there, the heat is just gone, because the clouds actually keep some of the heat like mm-hmm. in in your area. So, all right, now you do that and then take away the atmosphere in that area. Right. It's going to be the... even colder. I don't know. Well, just to... uh, no, they, they, they talked about if a, when an asteroid comes through at a certain speed, it does punch a hole in our right. atmosphere and in that area for a minute until the atmosphere closes back up again. It's absolute zero. It's the absolute zero of space. And the only thing that will heat that up before the atmosphere closes is the is the hemp as the meteor exploding <laughs> so you'll Damn. you'll freeze and vaporize all boom, boom like that that's what As i'm you hit say. it so hard you hit it so hard it you turn hard, a nice warm place into a very very in. cold yeah. place so it punches a hole a cold in, hot a, place a, a, a cold a hot cold, a cold plume hot comes plume. in of absolute zero yeah that's it that's in america Damn. before and when i read that dude i was like I've read a lot. I've read a lot of weird, scary shit. That was probably the scariest thing I've ever read. Is oh, we can freeze and burn to death all at the same time, and it could happen at any moment, any moment, anywhere. Well, the hole still exists, though. That's what I'm saying. Like uh, two years ago, I did a segment. Shit, three years ago now. When I was on uh, with Tim, we we talked about the hole in the atmosphere, uh, of, like south of the Arctic, in between the Arctic and Canada. No shit. Like. Yeah, it exists. I didn't know that. No. Yeah. Is that the ozone layer that they're always talking no, about? The hole the, the ozone in the ozone in the 90s. They're like, oh, it's getting bigger every time you spray over your Antarctica. hairspray. Antarctica. That's over Antarctica. Because it's a pole. Um, now I got to look that up. That's awesome. Hmm. I believe it. Yep. That would make sense. Well, look at it this way uh, the, the comets that hit Jupiter back in 1994. <clears throat> the marks are still there. Wow. Of the of them hitting Jupiter, you can still see them. They're like faint. in this in the storm clouds? Yeah. Or yeah. Okay. It disturbed the well, <clears throat> it's it's storm clouds, it's gas, it's a lot of shit. But uh right. yeah, they're still there. That's cool. So he talks about how this gets the equator gets close to Easter Island. Not all the way, but like close, like really yeah, close. Just, just south of it. Yeah. And, and then this going. next one, this, this show this thing. It, there there it, is. it is, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you no. Go. Yeah. No, you had it a little, little Fine. further. All right, just but go. I want to show you down here in case. This is weird. Some of you don't know, but I found this on another guy's channel a while back, and I did an upload just to show people what's down here. It also seems like it could be just a glitch. What's really interesting, I don't know how much you can trust Google Earth, but down here on the bottom of the ocean, right next to this line, is this giant spire coming out of the bottom of the ocean. That looks like the Matrix farted, let's be honest. What the hell? Yeah. But if it is real, that that looks like Google Earth getting messed up. There's spires like that on on the moon and Mars, though. Like that? Mm Mm-hmm. What? Oh, I don't <laughs> operate my computer right now, but oh, the... that is what it looks like. And it's thousands of feet high, and it pretty much falls right on this old there, ancient. There's a spire on the moon that's equator. thousands of feet high like that? Yeah. You, you, there's a bunch of moon shots that are unexplainable. What? On what? Phobos, there's, a, there's a, um, a monolith. Is it Phobos, chat? It's one of the moons of Mars. What? Yes. I think that was just a glitch. That looks that, like a glitch. That I've, probably I've was a glitch. A, I've played enough video games to like see. I've seen it's, that yeah. shit. In my game. I've seen. Yeah. Like, oh, look. Polygons well, getting all messed up. Vidya games. Uh, Stretch. Here we go. Hey, look here, old so, man. Whatever. Video games are the future. You're lucky to get old at this rate, <laughs> buddy boy. <laughs> so it goes on Eastern Isle, Meteors. Easter Island, Angkor Wat. Yeah. He mentioned something about in Pakistan, but it doesn't go into much details about it. Uh, Persepolis, it goes by Persepolis uh, and it, it hits the Giza pyramid, but there's a not, lot more. Not it, it like it, it hits the, the 
No, no, no. It goes to the perfect corner of the the medium pyramid in between the small and the medium. It goes right up to this on, proposed North right Pole on the corner. Is the Ricard structure right there? Fifteen miles. Yeah, it does go by the Ricard from Nazca. I told up you to this see? North yeah, Pole, right there, six thousand two hundred fifteen miles. From Nazca to Giza is six seven thousand six hundred seventy-seven miles. NASA says the so spider on the moon is just a, a crater. Paper, sure. The base is 7,677. <laughs> and angles going, or uh, the two sides going up, 6,215 miles. If you put that up on a piece of paper, a flat piece of paper, you are going to have a triangle degrees the exact same as the Great Pyramid. Is that just a coincidence? Seems to me ancient sites were marked all around the earth by sacred geometry and other things. And I just find a whole bunch of things very interesting about this Nazca to Angkor Wat line. Maybe it definitely was a possibility that this was the ancient equator of the earth. Hope you thought this was interesting. You know, Something about it that makes lady. me feel like it's the number twenty three. It's like you're you're trying to find connections, and then you'll find it because there's so yeah, many variables. Point. You will find something that connects all these things and makes a makes the number twenty three. Maybe right. So yeah, that's, you know, kind of feels so like Gobekli Tempe was. They, they know that there's things buried underneath it, so that that like four or right. five different sites underneath it. I think what it is was them trying to re adjust all of their calendars and their knowledge of how the earth is situated compared to the stars and they they were putting dates down changing the door every few hundred years to try to like make sure that they could realign everything and make sure exactly where they were but also they were putting a date of when the younger dryas hit so i wouldn't be surprised if if they when they dig down to the other sites it it links what did you say fifty thousand years there was another asteroid that hit you mentioned it earlier yeah um, the one in arizona hit so it, it wouldn't ago. it would not surprise me if one of those sites in gobekli tempe underneath it related exactly to when that hit because it's like the star oh this is uh monolith that definitely looks like a monolith okay isn't that uh it's like lovecraft Stan- stanley kubrick filmed uh what is that movie 2001 a space out you haven't seen yeah. that yeah yeah no, no. of course the i trailer? had i had to see it so i knew why that would have made sense to even you say what i just said of it. don't be so defensive <laughs> all right it's mr okay. big jerky <laughs> i'm gonna have some more in a minute uh i don't blame you beef jerky is amazing yeah i love beef it's jerky. great i love it uh, CFAP's passed away a bit ago. Sad day. Uh, says Decky 69 for uh, 499. Yeah, I he, um, yeah, I was bummed. I was like, I noticed about six months later, which I felt bad. I'm like, God, he hasn't put out a video in a while. Oh, you know, maybe man. he's maybe his channel's dead. Then I found out he passed away. He was out in Vegas. <clears throat> yeah, he was good. It, like, his videos were good, very basic and good. All right, Adam, you got to go to bed. Yeah, I'm tired. We're going to start earlier next week. All right. So we'll yeah, start earlier. That. And, I love uh, it. Hopefully that'll be easy on everybody, easier on everybody. RIP Chuck for sure. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm adjusting my schedule and, and trying to sleep at night. So this that's is good. I think that's but good. This, this show is so much fun. I love talking about this stuff a lot and researching it. So it's absolutely worth it. Um, but chat, you're the best boys. I'll see you next. Well, Garrett, I'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Are we, See you next are we week, brother. Red, are we playing Red Dead tomorrow? I hope so. If Should yes, really... I will play. I will be playing. We gotta sure. do that. Hell yeah! All right, uh, Gary. I'll see you next time. Catch you later, brother. Thanks, Catch Chad. Time. Love you guys. See you later. Puffy. Uh... <laughs> Bye, Adam. Adam Crigler from the Crigler Show. Stop saying I quit. I didn't quit. Who quit? I don't know where this is coming from. Oh, because you weren't on Friday Night Tights? <laughs> They'll go on the show <laughs> one week. My goodness. Oh, yeah. Well, we said... Uh, the, what did we say? Oh, yeah. We found something in your contract. Your, uh, Stephen oh. Crowder called and said you oh, yeah, had an I got NDA. It. And everybody <laughs> flipped out. <laughs> you did correct it. You just let people think that. It's hilarious. I just let people for a little while. Then I had to correct it. Uh, all 
right. Grizzly. Yes, I quit. Twenty dollars says, "Remember when the ozone layer uh, stated pa- started packing itself up, and the environmentalists had a meltdown? Remember the '80s with acid rain, the '70s with pollution? Seems there's going to be an environmental disaster that can." And that was part one of. I was saying. Thank you. Where did number two go? Don't know. Uh, part two, not yet. Probably typing. He's probably typing. Okay, thanks. Uh, recently discovered your Exozone series. Loving this stuff too. Hail. Have you heard of metal they found in England There's on ancient desert that doesn't rust? Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, there is a pole. That X-ray girl. There is a pole in India that is 600 years old, 900 years old. That's made of iron that is not rusted. Yep. It is pure. It's it's impossible to make. India is an, a, a mysterious ancient place. Well, and yeah, I don't think English there's enough like there's not enough studying in there. No, well the Indus Valley is is they are straight up descendants of Atlantis. Same with the Egyptians. The Indus Valley and and uh only be solved through the miracle of globalistic policies while the world constantly is ending for real this time in 15 minutes if you don't give them all of the power in the world says the grizzly yeah like you know you just get old enough and you're like they just keep changing the story Um, yeah yeah there's a picture of la jolla cove from the 1800s so la jolla cove is in san diego and it's at sea level and it's a cove uh, a lot of seals go there now, but they didn't used to. But just go look up a picture of La Jolla Cove in the 1800s, and then go look up a picture of La Jolla, La Jolla Cove yesterday, and you will notice zero difference in in zero. So 100 years, 150 years, no difference. It catches the young people, though. You know, They hear it for the first time, and you're like, oh, my goodness, the whole and- world's going to come to an end if I don't do something right now. And, and both pictures, you know, find a picture taken at either low tide or high tide because there's a thing called low tide or high tide. <sighs> Crash six. It's like when uh, California catches on fire every summer. Like, yep. but climate change. It's yep. like, no, 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 no. The governor actually, comes out. It's because climate change. Okay. It's not because change. I failed my job. Uh, yeah. I was at the French laundry restaurant, you know, because I don't want to be around you peasants. And uh, climate change is uh, changing the state. So I'm going to lock you all down and uh, have sex with my wife who can describe Harvey Weinstein's penis perfectly (laughs) in court. Well, official on the record on the record. Uh, Real me this Batman. How would ancient measurements be the same? Wasn't a foot created from some King's actual foot. A modern measurements are completely arbitrary by Adam. Uh, crash six, six, seven, four for $10. Well, uh, what's the, how, how big is the stayed? Cause that's never been completely worked out. The Greek what's stayed. The, what's the stayed? So supposedly what a stadium is built on. It's like 600 something feet, but they don't know for sure. Huh? Uh, yeah. I, a foot is based on miles. Uh, fuck your metric system, your phony metric Euro system. I wish, I kind of wish though, I was taught the metric system because it makes oh, more sense. It's in tens, us. it's in squares. It's like, yeah, I, they, 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 it, but it's it, so, I'm too, I'm too deep in the damn imperial. Did they system. stop? Cause, Cause they taught us imperial and metric in math when in the seventies, they tried to, that's when they tried to move it over. Yeah. Um, but the imperial just is better and it's older and it's better. Uh, the NFL is rigged, says Darth Viewer. How? What happened? I mean, the Eagles beat the shit out of the Niners. Uh, I don't care about sports ball anymore because uh, they ha- were on their fourth quarterback. But did uh, did he suddenly uh, suddenly go? I don't know if I can even even say the rest of that term. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, w- yeah, I don't know. I don't know. My son will tell me all about it. I remember in the 70s, Ice Age scare, it's all bullshit. Yeah, there was going to be another Ice Age. That's the only thing that's closer to the truth is we're actually getting cooler. It's, 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 it's you know, slight, but we are getting cooler. And that would be 
very, very bad for us. It, it would be better if it was warmer. Yeah. Yeah. You can you can grow more things when it's warmer. It's much nicer outside. Hey, Heller is the man to check out for the climate change scam. It is, uh, th- well, that's part of the problem that Randall is facing and Graham is facing. So you've got like our uh, scientific paradigms. You've got politics. You've got climate change politics and identity politics because you, yep. by saying there was people before the Clovis, well, then you're threatening the quote unquote indigenous person, right? Well, there were indigenous person, people, a person and a person and people in North America and South America that died, they all died. But the Native Americans aren't them. They were here before us, but they're not indigenous. I mean, they came through the Bering Land Bridge. People did come through the Bering Land Bridge and through the ice corridor. That did happen. Absolutely. There's there's uh, indisputable scientific a- evidence that that happened. So... Uh, check out a video from Suspicious Observers. A preview of the shift goes over the pole shift, Earth rotational shift. All right. right, Will do. Been checking out that channel. Been checking it out. Uh, some, some positive methane bubbles cause ships to sink. Oh, I've heard what? that. They, 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 really? they, that's, a, that's a Bermuda Triangle theory. And it, 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 yes, it could because the, the methane fucks with the water, the buoyancy of the water. So the ships just, and there's massive, and then, and then, yeah. The if they're in the that area, that would make sense. It would scientifically make sense if they could find a way of the, of Earth producing that. And that's why it would be in that triangle area. Well, that's why if the what ocean temperatures go up too much, then it it, negative, negative, something. yeah, it's called negative floating. What? So <laughs> sinking. Call we're sinking. Uh with um there's frozen methane at the bottom of the ocean. There's frozen methane everywhere. And if that methane does thaw out, it would be very bad for all of us. Well, yeah, there was a there's a story, I can't remember where it was in the on the world, but uh there's a village where there was a guy who just like came home after work made some food and he looked over and his daughter was passed out and then he passes out. Then he wakes up six hours later. Everybody in the whole village are dead. They're including his daughter, everybody around. He goes to his neighbor. They're dead. Everybody's dead. He runs to the next village. He's like, Hey, what's going on? I think this was in like Russia. I mean, somewhere like that. And they found out it was, a, a lake that was higher up in the mountain that had a buildup of methane and it just popped and it all the methane came out and washed down the side of this mountain right over this village and just because it, it takes all of the oxygen now just sucks it right out and you're just gone it's nuts bummer that's that's nature man nature could just I, take you out you, you get a big fart it. take you out in a big fart uh, wouldn't Operation Popeye be a better excuse for uh for why California catches on fire, but the government isn't totally using weather control to do that stuff? I mean, maybe, but it's been happening in California for ten thousand for uh, over ten thousand years. Um, I learned that in fire school. That forest fires have been happening. We know maybe further back, but, uh, you know, lightning, shit just catches on fire, uh, smokers and the campers. But, uh, yeah, the one the CO2, uh, the CO2, CO2. Yeah. Just the buildup and just pop. That's crazy, man. Uh, I've mentioned, uh, but possibly like we, we have tried to mess with weather control. That is that that's another thing we also know. I mentioned a few times to you already, but watch Mystery History on YouTube. Seriously, watch that channel. They have a real photographs, video, and actual historical evidence of ancient high technology, says Mr. Wolverine007 for $20. I will check it out. I think I do check that. I think I have that. I think I am sub to them. I'm sub to like a lot of channels. It's it's a little ridiculous. 
and I try to watch them all. Like at night, I, when I turn off the pop culture stuff, I'm either listening to I put uh, I've got Bright Insight on a playlist. I've got Uncharted, Randall, Graham. Uh, there's a channel that kind of gets all the best lectures from Gaia, and uh, you know they, they they rip them off. I think like, it's like some like a Russian supercut. channel. Kinda. Yeah, they and so I I use I do that and I just throw up a lecture or something like that. But that's my winding down stuff. But thank you, Mr. Wolverine 007. Appreciate it. Uh, Null face 499. Hail, look up the Maxian map showing early human migrations based on mitochondrial DNA. P.S. I grew up watching Project Blue Book TV show in the 70s. I did too. Awesome. Following mama DNA, basically. Uh, there was a warming period, Middle Ages, true. Paintings showed great vineyards in England, and it was like paradise. Yes, they were, they, they're, that is true. They were absolutely true. And it lasted a good long time. That's when the cathedrals were built, and they were uh, largely abandoned when it ended. Uh, Randall talks about that on, I believe, his very first Joe Rogan appearance. Why did they abandon him? Because it, they, so when the warming period ended, when the warm ended, I'm going to say that slowly, they didn't have as much food, which means they didn't have as much surplus, oh. which means you have no surplus to for leave. surplus labor, which is specialized labor like craftsmen. And they all had to leave to go grow their own farms uh. and survive. That's how it works. Got to have surplus. It's all about the surplus. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, you're hungry. Otherwise, you're hungry and, and you you're busy. Fix yeah, that. Hunter gatherers were for a long time really busy, just trying to eat their next meal. Like that's yeah. all they could really focus on. They weren't thinking that's about why... genders, love handles, any of that shit, receding hairlines. That no, they were thinking about no. lunch. That's why it, it makes no sense whatsoever that they all just put down their their bows and arrows and decided to go build Gobekli Tepe <laughs> and go like, Hey, yeah, let's learn how to make relief carvings in the, in stone. And yeah, we've never done that before. All this stuff. Yeah. Hey, yeah whatever. Oh, look at Mathematics. This. I'm going to call this carving. That just doesn't make any I'm going to call this carving in relief. I'm going to call this making animals in the abstract. <laughs> Makes no sense. I just invented all three of those things right now. Easy. Uh, super chats for panel from Eric K for two dollars. See it here, folks. Gary likes meat in his mouth. I, do, I, yeah. So do you, Eric? I've seen you eat meat. Uh, you have. It was in Vegas. I don't tell Half the story because it stays in Vegas. For five, yeah, so much for that, right? Halfway for five dollars. Hey Gary, hope you got uh, the email I sent you. The pics I took from the museum in Fairbanks, Alaska. Mammoth bones and babe, the blue ox. Oh, I haven't seen those. When'd you send them? I'll have to get those for the next show. We'll get those for the next show. Yeah. Mostly Wasn't gluten it? for five dollars. Waiting for Coda Black to train his kids to fetch beer and command. Rest in peace, fellow headphone users. <laughs> I could already do that. Yeah, that's from uh, birth. Pursuing paranormal, I like that for nine ninety nine. You guys, have you guys ever looked at the researcher, the Windover of ac uh, excavation? It took place in my hometown of Florida. Love content, keep it all up. Uh, the the Windover excavation. I will look it up. I gotta remember that one. Where's my notebook? Windover. There it is. My my old school notebook with pen and paper. It's called the Windover excavation. I can hear yeah, excavation. Excavation. All right. Hey, Gary, I'm thinking of going to the Hancock slash Carlson conference in North Carolina this June. Are you going to? If so, is there any chance of Nerd Rotic FNT meetup? Uh, Dove and Death for $10. It's sold out. Yep. Sold, sold out. I am sorry to say, yes, we are going. Uh, let's get to George Howard's Twitter right now. Now, what I would do if you really want to go is look for scalp tickets, you know. It might be a little more. Uh, you can watch it, excuse me, 
it's getting late. You can watch it on a live stream. That's that's still available. Yeah. But I am sorry to say it is sold out, and that just happened today. Here. So if you got this. tickets, see you there. I hope you got tickets. Uh, George, I'm pleased to say and kind of disappointed to report that the Cosmic Summit 2023 in-person attendee is now sold out 130 days before the event. Over 600 people, 44 states, and 50 countries are coming to Asheville in June 17th and 18th, 2023. Buy the live stream tape, in quotes. Join us. And then he shows you where the tickets came from. Hey, look at that. See the circle right there? You know, right over San Antonio? Yeah, look at that. That's me. That's me. We got three tickets. I got one for Garrett and ding, ding, ding. Melissa. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody came from Montana or North Dakota or They South don't Dakota. care, man. They just don't care. There's also not a lot of them. Oh, my God. What's the big circle right there? Hey, everybody, a lot of locals. That's a lot. Uh, how far of a tribe is that? Oh, God. It looks um, 12, 13 hours. Probably. Where is it? North Asheville, North Carolina. Carolina. Asheville, North Carolina. Okay. Mm. Hail Eric K. Uh, Bill Sotheby for ten dollars. When they find all of the selfies taken in front of the mirrors, with uh, with the way people hold their phones up to take the pic, do you think future archaeologists will think cell phones were worshipped as gods? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh. And they'll think bathrooms were were tombs or or places of worship. They will just yeah. all think that, or they'll or or they'll call like a concert arena a place of worship. You know, they're gonna dig up that big uh, MLK statue that was like the yeah. weird arms. And be like this must have been a god. This was their fertility they're gonna god. Look at the, all the modern art and go. This is obviously a civilization that was in severe decline. <laughs> falling apart at the seams yep dara mouth for five dollars when you talk about six extinction it reminds me of death stranding they did all that in the story extinction event and other things like that yeah um i was i drove through the great state of texas on my way up to to lubbock uh i didn't see a lot of people this is a big state with a Big lot of state. fucking people in it. I'd say what second it's this the second most populous, third most populous state in the country. Maybe Yeah. And it's the second largest. Second largest to Alaska. Yeah. And I I, I had the roads to myself. Now it Big was expanses of it was Sunday empty Valley. People still go to church here. God bless them. But yeah, I, I had the freaking streets to myself. For most of the time, empty freeways, didn't see a lot of people, went through a few small towns that were practically abandoned. Yep. Uh, yeah. I'm just not worried about the sixth extinction. <laughs> just not. Uh, from appearance fees and royalties, our Herc has cash, says Juan Wong for two Australian dollars. Uh, sign again. Uh, what is it? Uh, wait. Sinai, Sinai for $10. Gary, my dude, I want to thank you for being an example for those of us who are all recovering addicts. I also uh, been sober for three years. Congratulations with painkillers as my drug of choice. Hardest fucking uh, smoking is the hardest thing to quit. That's the second. I mean, that's like heroin. Uh, and I appreciate you always reminding us how we are not alone. By the way, I love the new name. Cheers, man. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, painkillers, anything opiate based is yeah. the devil. Okay. Really fucking like speed, you can quit. Speed, you you sleep for a couple days and you're fine. Uh I mean, like you, you know, it affects your mood for a little while because you're so amped and it, you know, your brain takes time to adjust, but like within a week, you're fine. Uh it ain't that way with opiates. You gotta go, if anything, to a a medically supervised detox if it's gone on too long yeah you have to go through that or you could die yeah they uh <laughs> they cold turkeyed my 80 year old grandfather oh. off of painkillers because they thought he was a junkie because they put him on the painkillers uh -huh. the doctors did 
uh-huh. then he was like, hey, uh, I don't like this. This isn't good. Uh, but I'm like stuck on them because my back is killing me. And they're like, yo, no, uh, you're a junkie. You need to stop. And they pulled it. They didn't do a detox or nothing. Like they're, they're handling this thing. Yeah, he's, I mean, you know, as much they, as an 82-year-old can be. But yeah, I mean, that seems to be like the, how they're they're handling it now. They're completely just yanking it from everybody that they built. They made the mistake. And they're putting the mistake onto all the victims. That's what the uh, medical industry is doing. So yeah, whenever Zach, Zachary Levi come, comes out and says, yeah, I think Pfizer is a net negative. They're the devil. I think he's I think he's correct. Yes. Um Yeah, like uh I, I had to make that decision. My mom's old. She's, you know, in her eighties too. That's tough. And uh she's on pain meds. And I'm like, I'm not gonna take those from her. <laughs> Why? She's in her eighties. Yeah. Uh she would get sick, she could die. It's like, nah, nah. I mean, she was in her fifties, sixties, early seventies. She's in her eighties. Like nope, yeah. Um, see, I mean, they did that with Lemmy, Lemmy from Motorhead, mm. famously. Guy was doing meth till the day he died, and there was a point where they get they said, if you stop doing it, it will kill you. Like it's gonna kill you, but if you stop doing it, it's gonna kill you too. So, <laughs> so just keep doing. Might it. as well just keep doing it. I guess. <laughs> might as well just keep. You've been drinking and drugging every day for fucking decades. Lemmy Don't stop. Core. Uh, hey, bros, Robert Shock says that the Younger Dryas was caused by a solar event. Uh, if that's the case, we are all screwed. How could mankind possibly defend against the sun? CS for $10. Yeah, I I really like his theory. Um, I don't think he needs to come after the comet theory as much as he does, because I think they both could have happened. Um, he even talks about, like, if a meteor, a big enough comet hits the sun... It will eject plasma that could hit Earth. Um, but I don't. Space I, is scary, man. It, space is scary, and it's like he, scary. Robert Shock puts up a lot of really good evidence that it could be the plasma thing. I I wouldn't dismiss it at all, and it's yeah. it's far scarier than a fucking meteor, because imagine, okay. Bilikovsky talks about this. Uh, if planets, if a roving planet. You know, like, uh, uh, end of Doctor Who, Gallifrey comes back. Remember Gallifrey comes back? But if a planet really got that close, you know what happens? There, These are two electrically charged things. And there will be electrical, there would be fucking bolts of lightning <laughs> striking each other. It would just, right? And they'd be huge. They'd be miles wide, hundreds of miles wide. So imagine... It's going to mess up your day. Big ball of plasma comes off the sun, like sun goop. Sun goop comes flying at us, hits our magnosphere. Um, Some of the goop makes it down, not all of it. But when it hits the magnosphere, it fucking fries everything. And all of a sudden, it's just electricity and lightning. And and there's the whole electric universe theory, and that's out there. And, you know, I'm not obviously smart enough to even. Oh, check it out. Uh, everything's uh I, I it's hard for me to get my head completely everything's around energy it, man but uh yeah it, it does make a giant difference in how uh i don't i want to say physics uh, help me chat it's it's a very different way of how the universe functions basically than they think it is they think it's matter and they're trying to find dark matter and explanations for gaping holes in the physics and the science and the electric universe is uh is is trippy but there's a lot of electricity out there so if the plasma hits it would be like lightning striking everywhere it would put giant weird images in the sky uh there would be like huge bolts of lightning and there's tons of evidence of vitrification everywhere i was just watching in uh a, 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 a jimmy uh jimmy corsetti's uh, bright insight and he was throwing up some pictures of Egypt and you can see that the, the stone is not only knocked. Uh, it was in Tannis. The stone in Tannis is not only knocked over like a bunch of it's yellowed, yellowed and vit, vitri- like fucking fried. It's vitrification uh, on the statues. So like, well, you can't do that with like torches to stone. You might blacken it a little bit, but it won't like fry it 
make it orangey yellow and melt it. So, yeah, there's a lot of weird evidence of that. I don't know, man. I wouldn't want either one to happen. Toxic man flu for $50. Hey, thank you. I've done the research, and the Atlanteans did two things to, that made them great people. They invented the use of pineapple on pizza, and they outlawed the man bun. You know, and, Sick. And they were I'm destroyed. glad they're at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, they would have outlawed yep. Bon Jovi, but no one could have predicted that horror. And I completely agree. <laughs> I agree with that. Sick. Uh, Eric K for two dollars says Jennifer Lawrence was the first crater. Gary, he's absolutely right. <laughs> IWD for ten dollars. What about the craters in India that supposedly look like they're uh, uh, gouges carved into the earth by some weapon of orbital tool allegedly occurred circa seventeen MYA? Uh, I've looked in. Well, there's that also that town where there's the skeletons on the ground that are radioactive. It, it what's the name of that town chat what's the name of that town or village it was a village it was a village starts with a p maybe um yeah uh, 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 uh. i'm kind of doing them out of order me so trash so hang in there uh i think you missed my super chat 30 minutes ago i'm doing it i'm just randomly going through my list here uh it's not pompeii it wasn't else. Pompeii. No, it's in India. It's in India. Here, I'll get the. India village radioactive. That name doesn't sound right. Yeah, that's it. Uh, in the territory of Rajasthan. In Northwest India, a layer of exceptionally radioactive cinder is found near Jadpur. Uh, researchers find proof of ancient atomic war. That's what's always put. Uh, what? It could be a T Tunguska thing. It that could do the same thing. Same thing could do that. It would just look like there was an atomic war. Uh, Mohenjo. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, ancient nuclear energy at Mohenjo Daro. I think that's even uh, that's an ancient aliens episode from season nine. Yeah, go look it up. Mohenjo Daro. Uh, what's y'all feelings about the mud floods? Uh, I don't know about the mud floods. Happy plague doctor. I'll look it up. Look up the mud floods. Really? Uh, Jabber J for nine ninety nine. I would guess it was a series of hits like a happy scatter shot. What was that? Happy plague doctor. I know a happy plague doctor. Happy Plague Doctor. What's up? Uh, look at our side of the moon. Every time we Blitz. pass through the Taurus stream uh, between 12,900 and 10,900 years ago, ice core data. Yeah. One side of the moon is pelted a lot more than the other. You didn't notice that, right? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Williams, Gary, the roads can be vacant and you can just uh, want to punch it. However, beware of the DPS hiding. Uh, do like me. Have a good lawyer for those tickets. I, you know what? I just don't drive that fast anymore. I got a fucking ticket us in Arizona. And like, seriously, that's the first ticket I've gotten in eight years. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty good about that stuff now. Well, for one, like our speed limit here is 80. So if you go yeah, like on the highway, you can... you're fine. You're fine. You know, and I'm good at 85. I'm honestly good. I'll just put on my music and chill. Uh, I rock the man bun too, Garrett. Main gang says Trevor Main B. For, gang. Uh, uh, $1.99. Well, there's somebody you can hold hands with, Garrett. There you go. Right there, just like Bell in Cars India. Dungeon for $10. Love the new show. Y'all continue to be the constant comfort while I struggle with my evil eye. Hail to all the fellowship in the chat. Hail to you. Hail. Your struggle isn't that bad. I would rather rewatch seasons eight four times in a row than try to make it through a prolonged oh, feast for crow says IWD for $5. <laughs> yeah, like I've only, it's right. It's rough. I've, I've read each book multiple times, but feast for the feast for crows is the one I've reread the least. Yeah. I get halfway through and I was like, Oh, this is just all the characters I don't care about. Like, honestly, it's just like, ah, oh, it's a drudge. The Cersei shit goes forever. Yeah. 
I'm like, uh, get back to the characters I like. Brienne goes forever. God, Mud that Floods one goes forever. is a Tartaria thing, which we need to bring on uh, Andreas to talk about at some point. He, he's Tartari- all about that the- Tartarian. It's like a prehistory uh, theory thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, it's very complicated. It's kind of like uh, if we take the Graham Hancock and instead of like the scientific geological side of it and asking questions that way, if you just went complete woo-woo, that's what it is. Uh, very cool. That was toxic. And I would, like, I would like Andreas to explain it because he fucking knows all about it. Yep. All right, we got a few more and then we're out of here. Uh, the Grizzly for $10. Are you going to do anything for 40 k now that you said that you were getting into it? Uh, <laughs> and if you want uh, the, the minis without painting, they have third-party companies. Uh, you can buy them and paint it and rebuild. I have to see if I totally get into it, Grizzly. Maybe. I'll be a year away, though. A year away. I've backed up Good on play. so many things I still need to do. I'm very close to starting to watch Stargate, but I've got there's like some movies I gotta I gotta watch Megan. I haven't watched Megan yet. I like to keep up. Like even if I'm not gonna do a review, I like to keep up with stuff. You gotta know what's in the zeitgeist. It's my job. Plus, I like it. Um, but we're we're definitely in like a pop culture quiet period right now, except for Disney about to reorganize. That's gonna probably gonna be big news. But uh, but as far as like the stuff I normally cover and do reviews. And I'll, I'll probably have I like I feel like I've watched enough Velma to do a review. I'll, no. I'll probably wait till the very end though. No. Yeah, you gotta wait till the end so you know where, where it's all going, and then you have to. Yeah, watch it'll it be all. easier to like just like I can bullet point. I can actually bullet point it because I'm not gonna like yeah. who gives a fuck about the story. Nobody, Nobody cares about the plot. About the story. I'm more about bullet pointing uh, how many woke lines there are in it, and it's it's a lot. It's a lot. We should Maybe just we have should like just a section a, in it. It's just we, like boom, 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 we boom. We should do boom. top ten most cringe moments in Velma. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? And that's it. That's it. That's it. I'll do it like an emergency awesome video, but except yep. like, like our videos. Like good. Like top ten Easter eggs. Uh, but I would do top ten cringe moments. And Easter egg cringe. Well, Scooby was in the last one. Scooby Doo. Wait, really? Yeah. So Fred reads a feminist book, and he start all of a sudden becomes attracted to women in sensible shoes in their mid forties, and one of them's painting a picture of Scooby. I like that meme that's going around. It's like the Mindy Kaling cartoon, where the lead character that looks like Mindy Kaling is beloved by every single other character, like fallen in love with the character. Mm -hmm. So cringe, man. No, it's a great example of, I think, peak woke Hollywood. That's the only reason I'll do a video on it. I'm like, not going to break down the plot elements of Velma, uh, but I will show you that she did a pole dance for her dad. For her dad. Man, what the hell? And she said that taking brains out of people's heads is white people shit. That's white people shit. I'm, oh, because because uh, uh, the person taking the brains out of the girls' heads was a was a woman of color of science. And she said, "I'm a little so- shocked. That's white people shit." <laughs> That's uh, just every joke is huh, white people. Uh-huh. White, white people. Patriarchy. It's like it's seriously. It's, it's like a tiring. pop song. They're just trying to hit a hook every 10 minutes it's not 10 minutes like 10 seconds Dude, it's Sorry. 10 seconds yeah. uh when archaeologists five years 500 years from now find stuff from our time i can imagine the news stories will be scientists have uncovered new artifacts from what is commonly referred to as the clown era says caligula for ten dollars on the stream website yes. i agree me so trash for ten dollars uh says i think if twelve thousand years had passed there will be human processed materials left behind, iron, steel, even deposits of smashed cement washed onto deltas uh, would show a record of advanced civilization. That is where to look. Um, except they didn't have cement or steel. They were completely, they they evolved most, totally differently than we did. And most of the other metals uh, that 
there's a theory of why you can't find a lot of this trash. Is like any metal, people would then melt down and reuse. Oh yeah, Ben turned into about weapons, this. and like we do that. Like I explained it before, it's like in World War II, we took a, a ton of things that were metal, turned them all in to weapons. So that's something that they would do with anything they found in the past. They just melt it back down and go, "Oh yeah. look, what's this?" That's like a from ball out of it. Let's make a sword X out of it. Brings that up. He said that it's extremely rare to find metal in Egypt because it was just re it was reused. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Nolan for two dollars. That's why there's there's um there's an iron. There's there's a type of metal that was found in Tutum King Tut's uh, tomb that shouldn't King have been there. Tut. It was like an I, I can't I can't remember if it was iron, but it was prior to the Iron Age. So they, uh, uh, oh, there was also the uh, the metal from the meteor that they, uh, there was a meteor that fell and they, they were able to turn it into a dagger or something like that. Have y'all been Obsidian. to Mammoth Monument in Waco? No. What is it? No. Hold Bobby on. Bobby Nolan for $2. Look. Brains have shrunk by the size of a lemon in 12,000 years. Yeah. Uh, I feel well, that. I mean, We've actually been the same for three hundred thousand years. Our brains, yeah. everything, and and it's getting longer. And that's the biggest mystery: is we've been the same, but it's only like. It's not even in the final act. It's during the Marvel stinger, of our civilization, where we go like, "Hey, let's, let's build shit and farm." Uh, Alex Jones' third appearance should be on this show, Gary Hale. Hey. Also, not going to lie, you should be getting, uh, you have been getting me through some stuff right now. Hail to the fellowship. Have you seen the memes of Alex Jones and Warhammer? I have, and they're fucking awesome. Trevor B. For $4.99. Thank you. Uh, this yeah, is from I, Waco. It's a whole ex excavated site. We need to go there. We need to go there. On the weekend. Yeah. We can go there on a weekend. It's just Waco. All right, now we've heard of it. We're gonna go. Now we gotta go. Uh, the Bob that God and, and, and we might we need to see the dinosaur footprints and then the human footprints that are twenty five thousand years old in New Mexico. Yep, they can't yep. explain. Uh, the Bob that God made mad for four ninety nine. Imagine if we want uh, mined an asteroid and use the precious metals to put us back on a hard currency based on gold and even platinum. I'd be all for it. Eric K for five dollars. Assault uh, sticks took them all out. Ban assault sticks or canes in prison. No, don't ban those. Keep them going. Cause that guy took out two of those motherfuckers. I wonder. Uh, a wonderful channel called Asha Lagos goes is the ancient Scythians Siths. Uh, and now seeded many civilizations. Also, I heard the oldest skeleton found in North America is European origin. Secrets out. I don't know about. I don't know about that. We'll have to look. They did find some Europeans in the Mobi Desert in China. 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 They did, and they were tall, and they had red hair, and they were mummified. Uh, Bobby Lane for ten dollars. I missed most of the show, but I bet it was great as usual. So here, don't shut up and take my dollars, guys. LOL. I look forward to rewatching it. Cheers, Bobby. Appreciate that. Uh, Pinochet's helicopter tours for two dollars. Uh, takes fifteen FBI agents to snuff out a family dog, a T Rex. <laughs> uh, FBI agents disband the FBI. Uh, Decky sixty nine for dollar ninety nine. Cold kills people. Warm weather, uh, people drink wine. Exactly. Yep. What happened to Mel's Hole? Art used to talk about it. Yeah, Bubba Doom. It got covered up. I think. I think Mel's Hole got covered up. What's Mel's Hole? I never heard. Mel's of that. Hole. You got to look it up. It's it's Art Bell lore. But um, this guy named Mel uh, had a hole on his property that he said he was hearing the sounds of hell from. What the fuck? Yeah. Andres Antonio Gonzalez Carres for 150 Uruguayan pesos. Hi, Nerdrotic. Maybe not in topic, but left-wing governments on Latin America want to do a Latin Soviet Union. First step, Argentina and Brazil uh, will do a single currency, the start of the end of democracy. Only you can stop it. 
it won't end it, it'll end about as well as the soviet union did you'll all be really fucking hungry lady great master for five dollars uh there's a lot of great people in south america that we love very much and uh don't want that to happen yeah globalism not a fan yeah we do need to get no. alex on the show we do uh heads up only just now got the YouTube notification for the show. Lady Great Master uh, for $5. Yeah, the YouTube notifications are shit lately. Yeah. Don't know what's going on. Crash 6674 for $5. Another guy to check out, Brian Forrester. Oh, I know who he is. Uh, you guys should try and get him on to talk about the elongated skull DNA and how they are not human. I would love to talk to Brian Forrester. Hell yeah. What? He will go on our list. Uh, Decky 69 for 499. Younger Darius wiped out the Clovis. Check out Mario uh, Buell Drep's channel. All, uh, awesome. Fires were 10 times worse at the turn of the 20th century. They were. It's weird why they were so weird. They, they were so intense. And like, I cannot recommend it enough. Go look at um, Randall Carl Carlson's three or four podcast series on on intense fires and like he he breaks down witness uh witness uh you know witness uh, witness testaments from the chicago fire that wisconsin fire that wiped out and killed an entire town a minnesota fire and they all happened the, the wisconsin fire by the way <clears throat> happened the same day as the chicago fire there was multiple fires on the same day as the chicago fire now it was hot it was windy but <clears throat> There's a lot of hot and windy days and that shit happens yeah. all the time. But the, like the, these were massive, deadly fires like that, that struck quickly. Um, and like, that's the one thing, you know, I grew up in California, so I, it's so Cal, so I don't experience snow, didn't experience much rain, but the one things we did, the one thing we did experience a lot was fires. Uh, San Diego, I, I watched San Diego almost burn down twice, the entire city. And it's a miracle it didn't. It's a miracle it didn't. But I don't know if you guys remember 2007. Uh, they had to cancel a Charger game, move it to Arizona because they need the stadium for evacuees. Uh, and then in 1997 or 8, uh, I was driving back. I saw the fire start in San Marcos in Elfin Forest. Got in, uh, went to with my dad. Again, this was during a Charger game because all the fires happen around fall because that's when it gets really dry. Mm. And we went to a Charger game and they were playing the Raiders on Monday Night Football. And then they stopped the game and said, if you are a resident of Carlsbad, Oceanside, Encinitas, you need to go. You need to go home. We'll let you out. Um, hey. And we ran out and got home and we couldn't get to our, it was too late. So we couldn't get into our neighborhood. And my sister, my older sister was on the roof of my parents' house. Uh, I don't know how the fuck she got up there watering it down. And it almost burned down. Cause it just, it burned down so much of North North County. So I've like, I've seen it. I've so was it like right there on the edge? And she was, was just like, it was within it. uh two blocks of our house. Holy crap. Yeah. It was crazy. And I fought fires that were fucking nasty, but not like what Robert, what uh, Randall was describing, but I've seen like flames that were stories tall, you know, and uh, you know what we did? Quarter black. What'd you do? Ran. Get the hell out of there. That's what they, there was yeah, a lot of fires. runners. <laughs> Terrifying. Yes. All uh, consuming. Uh, Trevor B for forty nine ninety nine. Exodus Ghoul ignore in stream. Yeah, she's here. She's done uh, but uh, t at t r v b b whatever in my YouTube is my YouTube handle. So it's t r v r b c h r is my YouTube handle. When I had uh, hope, lol. New York City kind of wrecked me. It's high school and college real basically. Would love advice on how to get jobs on YouTube like this. Thank you guys for everything. Oh, like X Ray Girl. Uh, she, she was Asian and she knew math. Are yep. you Asian and you know math? No, <laughs> that'll get you in the door. Uh, asking like this, Trevor, um, get to know people in the chat. Yeah. Uh, 
and and you, you'll get if uh thank you for the 49.99 what are your skills uh do you have something and even if it's not like something you train for what are you good at let people know and you can jump onto a channel you'll probably have to work uh for free at first uh quarter of like how, how, how far can i get hey right here so far you can get yeah there you go i mean someday yeah, I mean, quarter black's gonna yeah. get paid you know someday eventually he'll get paid. you know yeah it's in the contract i it's in the contract sign. it'll happen eventually yeah eventually. uh yeah yes exactly just get to know people and and work on stuff on your own outside of like other people's stuff like make sure you're making your own stuff so you're building up those skills and then when you have something like an opportunity you know you prepare for the opportunity when it's there you can go hey look here's some stuff i've done or i can do those things i can do them for you it's all about a lot networking. of people network in but don't put the cart before the horse and when i say that is like don't just like okay i want a channel all right cool what do you want to do yeah you got you before you have i want a channel in mind you got to have that idea in mind. like what am i passionate about like right or at a YouTube channel, I was doing a podcast, but the podcast was talking about pop culture, which, and it was very specific at first. It was like, we're not going to, everybody covers movies. We're going to cover TV. Now I cover movies now, but that's how I started. I'm going to cover mm -hmm. just genre TV. There's plenty of it out there. And, uh, that's all I'm going to cover, you know, cause nobody else is, um, and it turned into something else, but at least it was that idea. And then when I started going to other streams and getting in the chats and stuff, it wasn't to, okay, I'm going to get in here. Who can, who can I find to get me working fast enough? I just got to know everybody. It wasn't, it wasn't even really in my mind. Yeah. Like I, I want to be, it was just like, no, I'm in this live stream and I'm starting to chat and people are responding to me and we're getting friendly, you know? So I, that's how I met comics division, you know? That's how I met you. I was yeah. in the chat. In a chat. Like, hey. So so I would say the first thing on your mind is like, hey, I want to meet some nice people and let's get an idea in my head of like what I want to do. Start creating it on your own. And as you create, you will meet people and you will collaborate. Uh, it does take a little bit of uh, you got to be a bit of a, you know, at least an online social butterfly, which is a lot easier than doing it in real life, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I know there's a lot of people who have like, social anxiety and stuff. And, uh, I'm not here to make fun of that. I never would. Um, you know, it's, it's just a lot easier in chats to get to know people, you know, yeah. a friendly lot here. Real nice. Real nice. I, that's why, that's why it never sticks when they throw the accusations at me or Garrett or, 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 or Jeremy. And I, but then they come into the chat and they're like, wow, oh, these are the nicest people in the world. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, and man. now I'm starting to hear it from Hollywood create with, and this is good. Okay. We're not there yet, but I'm starting to hear from more and more people. It's like, you know, I hung out in your, in your chat. They're really cool people. I'm all, yeah, wow. these are, fa they're, they're fans. They want to like your shit. Like a lot. Turns out they're not all bigots. They're weird. Humans. Yeah. Weird. Just nice people. And, Just and don't for like any crappy content. And this is a specific message to some content creators who turn into like end up turning into locales or ankle biters or whatever. They spend all of their time like we want to take fandom back. That's what I hear all the time. It's like you never lost fandom. This this is fandom. This is the way it's always been. There's just different segments, different individuals. I don't think any most people here, I can't speak for everybody, are not going to give you shit for liking something. They might like a oh, whatever i hated it but they're not going to go you're an asshole mm -hmm. you know they're just not but uh, on the other side if we voice our opinion we are we are not just assholes we're bigots we're is we're phobes you don't hear us going after fandom on the other side you just don't so to the channels this is specifically to the content creators out there oh, we're going to take fandom back okay then take it back and you take it back by talking about what you like talk about whatever's on your mind it turns out what's ever on your mind, though, is my channel, Jeremy's channel, Quarter Black, uh, Critical Drinker. That yep. seems to be what's on their mind all the time. And that's how's that taking fandom back by going after five fans? Hmm. Okay, say you take us all out. Do you think that changes a fucking thing? No, it doesn't. Somebody will fill the void because there's something going on. This isn't just, uh, this isn't normal. 
this isn't five years ago. This isn't, oh, well, this isn't six years ago. This isn't 10 years ago. This is a very unusual thing. Uh, so unusual that it's become massively notable. We have now have provided plenty of evidence that there is a movement to subvert fandoms, to use them as platforms for influence, for influence for one very small minded, rigid, particular dogmatic point of view. It's not a conspiracy because they tell you they that's tell what you. they want to yeah. do. It, so, like in every situation, their interviews, their press junkets, their conferences, they all say it. Use this for a platform to make change in our society, not to tell good stories, not to make good content. The it's path to wisdom, you, you'll you'll never make it being non-confrontational. Appeasement does not lead to wisdom. I just want to like things and I don't want any trouble. That's no way to go through life. That's no way to go to get to enlightenment. Because you're not being honest. Uh, Decky, 69, thank you uh, for the 499. Younger, Dryas wiped out the Clovis. Check out the Marty. Oh, I read that one. Trevor B for 499. Imperial Guardsmen, when they find out about the chaos, Barry Waltz YouTube video, 33 seconds worth it. LOL. About the chaos. I'm not sure about that. Orbital hub for five dollars. You can clean the body with chlorine dioxide and remineralize it with fulvic minerals, focusing on magnesium and lodine. Also, a carnivore diet heals. It does. Got to eat that meat. Decky, 69 for $1.99. Colossus of Memnon. What's that? I, I've heard that. Colossus of Memnon? Electrical Universe, Grand Canyon, and the Scars on the Moon. Thank you, Decky, 69. So, yeah, the Electrical Universe also explains a lot of damage on the moon. Thank you, Decky. You you triggered my brain there. Uh, so the craters on the moon, some of them are me meteor impacts, but the other ones aren't deep enough. They're very shallow. Very, very shallow. And they think they are from electricity, from plasma. Jake, the movie geek, four ninety nine. I thought you did this type of content with Doomcock. What happened to that? It's over now. We're doing this now. Jake, uh, that was a couple of years ago. Uh, oh, yeah, Cliff, well. three one eight eight four ninety nine. Gary, uh, when you start Stargate SG one, please, please, please do a review of season four, uh, episode six, Window of Opportunity. It's a fan favorite. You'll get a kick out of it. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. I want to be three for three. I want to be three for three. It's because like a couple of years, well, it's actually a few years ago. I did Farscape. It's fucking awesome. Babylon 5, fucking awesome. I still haven't watched that. I need to watch it. Dude, Babylon 5 is a shit. Babylon 5, yeah. I'm becoming an expert on that. I've seen it like all the way through like three <laughs> yeah. times. Like you recently, from, like, like within a not year. watched yeah. it, yeah, to just being everything. I know everything about it. I mean, I'm not going to say I've watched it as much as somebody's watched it like over decades, but like th watching a series three times in a year. You, That's you, a lot. You retain a lot. lot. Uh, Ty Scott for five dollars. Tired Adam, sassy Adam. And I love it. Adam's just Adam. We accept Adam. Him. We accept him for what he is. An Adam. Uh, Decky 69, 499. Uh, Peshtigo Fire Randall. Yes, the Peshtigo Fire Randall is based uh, as fuck. Yes, he is. He's Randall is absolutely based. I love yeah. Randall. Love, love, love Randall. Gary, we asked to leave Cal. Uh, Gary, Gary was asked to leave Cali. His glasses caused insane wildfires. Texas is safer for us all <laughs> for him to be in more desert. He's basically Cyclops. <laughs> uh, that's why we, we put him in the South, South Nicole, Texas. Three dollars. Also, we'll, we'll be missed. Quarter black. Good luck, bud. And that's it. We done. I guess I'm leaving. I don't know what that means. No, we're all leaving now. Oh, yeah, we're all leaving. Wait. Uh, Goodbye. Why didn't you read my past super chat? This is bullshit. This is Jake it. the Movie Geek for $1.99. I just read it. <laughs> oh, wait. I missed some. Oh, my God. There's more up here. Hang on. Hang on. You're doing them out of order. making me confused. I know. Uh, Jeff Atkins for $5. You guys should look at getting Adam Curry on the show since he's a conspiracy th uh, theorist. Give his show a listen. It's called No Agenda. 
Jeff Atkins for five dollars. All right. Uh, Declar's Dungeon for ten dollars. Uh, deep cut from Gaming Nerd. I think it was Kenneth Height speculated what the world would be like if the meteor hit arrived twenty four hours later and hit Moscow and Berlin instead of middle of nowhere Siberia. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know about that. Thank you. That's the shit, by the way, and it's not good. And they talk about it with yeah. London too in uh, Ancient Apocalypse. Well, yeah, if it, no. it if it hit anywhere other than a out of way out in Siberia, massive damage. Uh, Two dollars from America, huge. That's what she said. Itch. Itch. Every twelve thousand years, civilization extinctions look at a suspicious observer. Uh, half cycle is six six thousand years and was Noah's flood. I know about that. That I know about, and that's part of a greater cycle. So it's a, like a cycle within a cycle. Randall is a rock star. All the Randall you can handle says Sporking News Podcast for $2. Uh, the Happy Plague Doctor for $2 says none of the bison in my area are dying. There you go. You got bison? The bison and... Some bison uh, burgers. Uh, the, uh, I had bison burgers. I've had ostrich burgers. I've not had ostrich burgers. Everybody's like, it's just like a burger. No, it's not. No, it's fine, but it's like venison. It's, little, it's like, like, like I love venison. I'm like, eh. I'm not really venison. I don't like uh, the deer meat all that much. It's a little too dry for me. A little gamey and little gamey. salty. Yeah. yeah. Not into that. Nope. Uh, Clovis people were Salutrians from Europe. I'm probably saying that wrong. Who had the same type of tools came over ice covered northern Atlantic. There you go. But there were people here before them. That's the deal. There's been people on this on this side of the planet, there's been people for hundreds of thousands of years. They keep finding more as as more evidence, as Graham Hancock says multiple times in Joe Rogan, stuff keeps getting older. Oh, he yeah. just put up uh somebody found a carved axe made out of obsidian. Did you see that? I think no. I shared it. Hang on. Hang on. Trucker Rob will do this first. A uh, Trucker Rob for $10. Hail all. Enjoy exploring Forbidden Frontier, my favorite show. Trucker Rob, I didn't put the Ooh. horn in yet. But exploring I will. the Forbidden Frontier. Explo yeah, Ooh, we're gonna I like think that. about the things we want to put in the intro. We have some kind of exploring the kind of like a like, frontier. Like Captain Picard at the at the beginning of every TNG episode, you know, kind of thing like that. I don't have a honk. The good Picard, not the abomination. Honk. That was annoying. That's not. I'm gonna replace that with the trunk honk. Uh, <laughs> when guys looked at the uh, Mashugana crater, you missed like twelve right by it. What? Are there more uh, 12 craters. Yeah, there's there's well, there's more potholes. OK, and that's like um, there's a bunch. There's there's a ton, Shane. You're right up there. But like the they're finding out the Meshuggah that I call it the Meshuggah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's too late. It's uh, now. It's Meshuggah now. Um, it might not be 12,000 years old. It might be a little older, but there's also a ton of other. Crater. There is. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, it there's a, called... I found this little guy over here. God, there's something creek. Yeah. Shane, you know what I'm talking about. Something there's, creek. There's a there's thing? an impact site there. Then there's the impact site in Greenland. This thing right here. Yeah, there's like little potholes. Well, just you, you want to see a this, weird this one? This is weird too. This this like lake. You want to see a weird one? It's like a big carving. Like it just Go carved at, right out of there. Yeah, yeah. Go look at Oregon. Just go way out, look at Oregon. You'll see a big round thing. Go down. It's towards this? the west. Yep. What the hell? They, they, uh, that is either dude, an and impact there's like here, here, or that's Yellowstone. That's a caldera from Yellowstone. What are these little things? Little calderas. Little calderas. So there, um, th that's one of the Shane. That's one of those things I do um, at night when I'm like winding down. 
I'm listening to Randall Carlson and I'm on Google Earth and I look for impact sites. Just looking. And volcanoes. There's a huge, 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 huge volcanic field in Mexico right near the uh, New Mexico, Arizona border and California border. And it bleeds into a little bit of California and it's fucking massive. And you can see it from space. I was like, what the fuck is that thing? And it just looks like a big black mark in the desert. And it's just a giant volcanic field. Yeah. You know, it's got nothing to do with the younger dries, but shit. Like, uh, it's cool. Geology's freaking cool. We used to have a lot more volcanoes and not that long ago when they were going for a while. There's a, you know, there's huge cones and stuff in the desert in California. There's a super volcano in California, Long Valley, California. Uh, that if that thing goes off, we're all dead. But thank you, Shane. Cheers for the five dollars. Okay, was that was that it, X-ray girl? Uh, Shane just did another one. You did? What's up, Shane? Thanks, dude. Shane. Shane. What did he do? Did another super chat right there. Shane Horton oh, for ten dollars. Said, said, oh, it just I popped thought, in just now. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. I found about ten myself from the Great Lakes up to, and on, in Greenland, just in that area of Canada. If I could figure out how to place pins on maps, <laughs> I would send a link to you. Is it? Are you doing Google Maps or Google Earth? Because I think it's Google Earth. Is where it you can separate? Do... Are they separate? Yeah. Yeah. Like you can mark Google uh, Maps, but you can pin Google Earth. Yeah, you can drop a pin. But I can't uh, honestly say I know how to do it either. <laughs> Thanks, Shane. Yeah, I love doing that shit. Dude, it's, I mean, that's, it's amazing. It's uh, especially, you know, God, that it, and the, the quality is getting so much better. We're going to be able to see the ground pretty soon. Like, yeah, clearly. Uh, like, kind dude, I, like, if I, if I will go over to my old, my old house in San Francisco now. I, I don't give a shit. If people found out where I live, but it, it was in, uh, because I'm not there anymore. But, um, you can see my old yellow Toyota truck still parked in front. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's in the Crocker Amazon. Still Good funny. luck. I mean, if you look over that area of San Francisco, it's just a mess of how it's just fucking houses crunched, piled on top of each other. It's terrible. Yeah. Whenever I went there, it was just like hills, but it's all hills of houses. Super this far condensed apart. My house was houses. this far apart from my neighbors. And we found yeah. a cat one time in there, a feral cat. We just, I kept on like, I was in the kitchen. I kept on hearing it's like something like a child dying in my house. I'm like, what the fuck is that noise? And yeah, there was a cat that was stuck. So we called the animal animal people, and it was the animal people from the show, the, what? the animal rescue show. <laughs> the animal rescue that's on show. history. It, it took place in San Francisco, so <laughs> it was. I'm like, hey. that's hilarious. Yeah, they were oh, all. Hey, there. So they came to our there. house, and they rescued the cat. They saved the little kitty cat. Oh, he was a little kitten. A little kitten. I just didn't want you know. I, you know, I, I'm a sucker for animals like everybody, but I also didn't want to smell a dead cat. And tried to yeah, for weeks, weeks, weeks and weeks. All right. That was fun as hell. Trevor B for forty nine ninety nine. Did I get this one? I already, already got this one. Right. Thank you anyways, Trevor. Thank you, Trevor. Oh, yeah. He's he's looking for uh, stuff to do. Dude, another thing is um learn to produce. Everybody needs a producer for, for a live stream. So I'm um, still Mr. Mr. Grant Gregory uh, does a great job. As a matter of fact, I don't know why he does what he does for Scott from Sporking. To be honest with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, two, 2022 was the weakest hurricane season since it started uh, using satellites to measure the energy. Got love from Bjorn Lomborg and the truth he speaks. Yes, and you know why it was the weakest hurricane season? They know what can't tamps clamps down hurricanes watch a channel called mr mbb333 he gets a little wacky sometimes but sierra uh sahara sand the sand from the sahara keeps hurricane season in check did you know that did you know that what how sand is, it, is always like blowing off the, the sahara it's always and it disrupts hurricanes what Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Earth's And awesome. when it's when it's weaker, we get stronger hurricanes. Uh remember it was the Sahara sand was so bad a few years ago. It was like uh discoloring the sky in Houston and Oh yeah. Remember that? Remember that? Yeah, that was that what it was for. At the very same time, there was a massive sandstorm on Mars too. Massive. What the 
the one that took out one of I the, remember that. Yeah. So we were having huge sandstorms. Like we've had it coming from the Gobi Desert across the fucking Pacific to San Francisco. That's happened before too. That was once. But this happens all the time. So Sahara Sand keeps the, the hurricane season in check. Uh, Shane Horton says, search these two at the same time. Oh, my God. You're putting in coordinates now, dude. <laughs> GPS. Here, I'll remember this, and I will search it. We'll just and we'll show it. it next time because we're about to. Uh, could you screenshot that X-ray girl and save it for next show? Please. Thank you. Shane, thank you. Truly, thank you. But we got to go. Yeah, dude. We got Thank you for the $5. I'll, I'll, I'm going to look it up right after the show, dude. <laughs> so thank you. There, there was one there. more at the top of the sheet. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, dude, that's cool. That is cool. Are you looking at it? Yeah. There's like two right next to each other. Well, share it. I'm going to share it. I'm going to share it. I already got it. You're not going to share it because you're a dick? Boom, check it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Check that out. That is cool. Now, how old do they think those are? And that's north. Is it? God, is it bloody of Creek? Of Help me, chat. It's in it's in uh, it's in Magicians of the Gods in America before. Wow! It's something Creek, where where one of these uh, impacts. That's was. so cool. Is there like a a town up here? People live up here. Oh. Little Eskimos and stuff. Look at that! Just scarred Earth. Absolutely. Uh, period Creek. Shut up, gamer word. Ugh. I love you. Gamer word. Gamer word is funny. Gross, bro. Well, that I mean, he's called gamer word. <laughs> So that's true. He's, he's living up to the name. on brand. He's on brand. Uh, there was one more on the sheet. Where did the sheet go? There it is. Do you want me to read it? Dawson's Creek. Yeah, yeah, you read it. Okay. Uh, tricky for $10. There's a picture taken of the Statue of Liberty from around 1910 showing the water line. A picture from 100 years ago later, same spot slash angle, shows zero change in the water line. Yep. Yep. And thank you for the reminder, Tricky. I apologize. Thank you. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Thank you. It's G2. Eskimos right? are aliens? Nah. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. They, they stay came down warm in those. They stay warm in those fucking igloos, man. They have those cool, like, uh, those glasses. Yeah. The Oh, the bone ones. Yeah. Yeah, the they, bone they, glasses. They, well, those they invented awesome. sunglasses, dude. They invented yeah. sunglasses. They invented shades. They know how to stay warm, and they're fucking smart. Smarter than us. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, see you next Sunday at 5 p.m. or 6. 5 or 6. What are we doing? 5.30. We do we'll, 5:30. Do five, we'll compromise. Okay. 5.30. 5.30 Central yeah. is when the show starts. We're going to try to get this up on Spotify and iTunes and Audible. And uh, we want to format, for, by the way, just for you, Garrett, uh, we want to format the thumbnail on the website for the podcast. So I'm going to, there, there's a specific oh, okay. way you so got to do that a, because a, what a it does is it only allows you to do like a, a YouTube thumbnail. So what you would have to do is like blur out sides or put some logo yeah. and then put everything in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For the podcast, we want to do that. Um, like a one-to-one. -one and once ratio. the show really gets going, because we believe in you, uh, it's going to have its own. It won't be under Nerdrotic. It'll start out under Nerdrotic, but it, uh, on uh, iTunes and everything else. But it will go to Forbidden Frontiers. Yeah. For t yeah. So so if it, if we'll let you know when that happens. But we want this to be around for a long time. Yeah, we'll and who knows? Irons in the fire. Someday, man. someday, it'll be weekly, a daily, five days a week. That's the oh, whole. Don't plan. tease me but, with a good time. Well, I know that's. Down the road, folks. Down the road, but like, uh, yeah, we want to pay tribute to the ghost of Art Bell, unlike his former employer. We want to pay tribute and not be as stuffy. We we won't be breaking every fifteen minutes for commercials. I don't think we'll break for any commercials. We'll probably be sponsored by somebody, but yeah, we're not going to break for any commercials. Like, like maybe for Infowars, for for Alex, I'd do it. Super uh, Male Vitality sponsors <laughs> Forbidden Frontiers. Take a pic take pictures with our shirts off. Yeah. Yeah, but take it vitality. You want to go out on uh some feeding the ducks? Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Super male vitality. Super male vitality. See so you guys a later. A lot of fucking ducks.
shirts coming off. Gonna beat the shit out of them globalists. Naked. Thank <laughs> you.